Woo! Tonight we are going to be giving away this beautiful juvenile red tail boa. Man, they, I really wish the red and the pink would come through on the camera. This, this is an absolutely incredible looking animal. It looks much better in person. So any purchase, no matter what you get, you'll be automatically entered to win this guy. We will give away for free at the end of the show. So you can order a tank tagger. You can, um, hey, you can become an elite member. You can order an animal. Anything will be able to... Um, you get you you'll be eligible to win this guy. Also, we are running a 10% off code on the entire site for March Mayhem. 10% off anything you want to buy. Um, mm -hmm. And guys, I'm telling you, we we have some unbelievably rare animals. Some some stuff that we the kind of stuff we haven't shown um, on the site yet. I'll give you a hint. They are mammals, and they're absolutely incredible. It's a good one. W wouldn't you agree? It's. This is going to be a fun night, y'all. This, this y'all got a lot to look forward to. A really fun one. We also have a few flash sales going on right now. If you guys remember, if you want to grab Mondo. Mondo. Guys, we we have Mondo, our absolutely enormous um, hogno snake. is How much? 36% off? 36% off, which I think is $250 off for this absolutely beautiful female hognose. This is a hognose. Which is about as big a hognose as you'll see. Yeah, this is a beefy hognose, guys. Just to be able to buy an animal as is like this, I mean that's that's a pretty that's a pretty awesome opportunity because most people don't even ever see hognose at this size. You know, it takes a lot to grow up an animal to this size. Thank you, Blue. and it's a it's a beauty. What do you say, Woody? You want you a hognose like this? I mean, I, mean, I would I would kill to have a hognose. Hey guys, in the comments. Uh, let, let us know if there's anything you want to see down in the queue, and you'll, we'll bring it out. We'll start showing off some animal, animals. I, th I think. We'll, oh, also, if you're an elite member, um, we are running like every uh, every stream. We are running two live auctions tonight. The first one will start in about 12 minutes, and that's going to be for um, a trio of Rainbow Jacksons, which I will go ahead and grab right in, in just a second. And then at seven o'clock, um, we're going to be doing an auction for a Maruki Blue Tongue Skink. Um, two absolutely awesome animals. And guys, just so you know, if you're not an elite member, you cannot participate in the auctions. You must be, be an elite member to participate in any auction. So we run nine two-hour auctions every single day with no reserve. Um, that's shipped for absolutely free. So in mo most auctions sell for at least 50% off. <laughs> that's a thick boy, Harley. <laughs> that's right. Oh, um, man. Yeah, so most auctions sell for at least 50% off and get free shipping. All that and a bunch more, 5% off the entire site. You get all that when you're an elite member. Um, but the the live auctions are a little bit different. Um, they're shorter. So instead of two hours or one hour, giving you guys a better chance to get um, animals at better pricing. So, yeah. So uh, let me let me show you guys the Rainbow Jacksons. I'll Cole, load you Cole, up, if dude. you want to take Check it out. out this female. So like I said, the first auction is going to be for a trio of these guys. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful rainbow Jackson chameleon. There's a female. So what's super cool about the trio? So that's going to be one male and two females. So you might be saying, hey, Peter, that, that chameleon has horns. It's, it's clearly not a female. Actually, the rainbow Jackson females can have horns. It's, it's super interesting. Sometimes they'll have just this one here. And then, and then two little tiny guys right there, or sometimes they'll just have one big one and none, or sometimes they'll have none at all. Super interesting I species. Another female with just one horn, I think he brought up. Is there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good example. yeah, let's see if we, we can grab that. So, guys, oh, this the, is a pretty good these idea. guys will, the auction for them will begin in about nine minutes. So, if you're not an elite member, make sure you sign up so you can participate in that are they auction. Hard to take care of? Look at that. Ch ch chameleons are, are a little more advanced than something like a bearded dragon or a leopard gecko. Um, it's not super hard. They, they require a good bit more humidity, uh, um, a tall enclosure. Um, they're not super hard. You, you got to spray them daily. You can do a mister or something like that. But Guys, they make stuff now. You can set it and forget it. You yeah, get, it's if automatic. If you get the right really. mister you, if, and you plug it in and you know how to do that, then, you know... The lion's share of the hard animal care is done by that product. So check that out. The Repti Rain is a really great product. And uh, if you have one of those, you can enjoy all the fun parts of caring for these animals, like watching them feed and pursue prey. Man, it's the coolest thing. Yeah, guys, if you, if you ever just, if you haven't in person see a chameleon shoot its tongue out to catch um, 
crickets and roaches and worms and stuff like that. It's so cool. It, it's one, it like it's what a bizarre way for an animal to hunt its food. It shoots out a tongue as the length of its body. That's all sticky. That's super cool. Incredible animals. That was one of the first memories I have underground reptiles was being in our old location and we had a line of screen cages and I'd go in there to feed those things and uh, well I'd take a little longer than I should because I would just crouch down watching like just tongues going everywhere. We have, we have a special announcement. Yes, Alicia. I have somebody wanting to see leopard geckos. Okay. We just brought a whole bunch of new ones yes, up. Yes, we did. We got some leopard geckos? We do have a specific oh. ad on the website for juvenile leopard geckos for the ad. Hey, guys, there are a lot of so morphs we'll showing. Yeah, that we'll we got showing in recently. A bunch tonight, There's some pretty so you'll cool be able ones. to select your own. These uh, chameleons are quite clingy, though, so they're a little difficult. Let's get back into their deli. Hey, man. Come on, now. So while Woody's getting those leopard geckos out, guys, if you're just tuning in, check out these acrylics behind us. Tell me those aren't the bomb. Oh no, at least he's getting attacked by the chameleons. Here, I got these. I'll get them out of the way. He's getting on the fireworks. And you can uh, do the macro on those weapons. Yeah. Um, I saw someone say, how many can you put to an enclosure? It depends on the size of the enclosure. I mean, if it's big enough, you know, you can do quite a few. You talking um, about a chameleon? Yeah, I do believe they're asking about the, the Jacksons here. Oh, let's so check this out. So you can easily do three in a, was it, is that 36? This is oh, a, this is perfect. This is a 32 inch cage right here, guys. So, sorry my chameleon's over there. Where is it? This is a 32 inch cage, and this would be great. What do you think, Woody? This is a two to three animal, um, but e easily, there's also a, Easily three. Easily three. And this is a really nice cage. We sell these. I set this one up with a uh, flexible hanging vine. Um, but this is a great this is a great setup. If you set this up, you got your chameleon with a mister. You'll throw that mister in through the porthole here on the side. Man, you got a great long-term setup for, a, for one of these awesome chameleons we just showed you guys. Okay, guys, let's take We wanted to see some leopard geckos. Let's get on the macro here, Alicia. Absolutely. Look at that guy right there. Yeah, I believe ready. I believe that is a Max Snow. I don't know what this guy is, if I'm honest. He might, what, what, did, what, uh, what ads do we have on the, on the um, site right now? So these are actually, we don't. We don't? We are not sure. So we We're don't, not sure. We don't have them specified. Yeah, they're not but specified. But typically yet. we get in Max Snows, Albinos, <laughs> and, and sometimes we get Albino yeah. Max Snows. And, uh, that might be like a rainwater and just, or something. And just your... Yeah. Normal crusty, all right. No, leopard gecko. <laughs> this guy's a max no, I'm almost positive. He's got two wheels on, he's just faking one, me out two, like five. that. Yeah. yeah, we can label these guys. Obviously, incredible beginner pet, super easy to care for. These guys, I believe, are from Pakistan, where they originally come from. Can you imagine seeing? I mean, I Dude. know that's not what they look like in the wild, no, I know, but you know, just. And sometimes they hiss, they make these little like crazy noises at you. Have, have you ever seen them wag their tail? Oh. The, the, sometimes when these guys get threatened, they'll start wag their tail and it's, it's like a dog. It's and crazy. it's very dexterous the yeah, way they wag it. It's like, you know, it's like they're puffing up at you. So guys, so these guys have, see that, that fat tail right there? It, it's literally fat. So these guys obviously live um, in harsh desert um, environments where there's not a lot of food. So he's going to store his fat in that tail right there. So that, that's going to allow him to go for a very long time um, without eating if, if, if there's nothing around for him to eat. Somebody's asking real quick, uh, Woody's still got these animals out, but asking back. about the black house snakes on sale. Yo, fear not reptiles, they are literally 50% off right now. I don't know, I don't think we can keep that sale going, but no, right now guys. they're $15, which is half off of their normal price. So, so guys, here, let's go through all the sales because I don't think we did. Um, so, all right, we got Mondo, that absolutely giant, um, that giant hog nose is 36% off, which is $250 off an absolutely incredible animal. A um, monster. Look at that thing. That thing's eating rat pinks. He's like hungry right now. Um, so we've got the, the black house snakes, which are 50% off. Pink toe tarantulas are only 10 bucks. Goliath bird eaters are only $50. Line day geckos are 45 and green basilisks are 1250 guys guys if you don't know anything about basilisks I, I remember my grandfather got me this reptile book when i was a kid in the 90s if, if, if i describe this and anyone can let me know what the name of that book was i'd be greatly appreciated 
It was a white book, and it had a bunch of um, ant reptiles on the cover. I remember it had a shingle back skink in it. Um, it had leopard geckos, and it had basilisks. And I remember it, it saying that basilisks can run on water. They call them the Jesus Christ lizard because they can run on water. I was like, and I was like a little eight-year-old. I'm like, I don't believe that. There's no way they can actually do that, but they can. Uh, we don't have green basilisks here in Florida. We have brown basilisks, and we actually have a canal that runs the length of our road out here. And if you walk that during the day, you'll hear... And you look and you'll see a little brown basilisk running across the water. It's absolutely incredible. It's a weird sound to hear the pitter patter of footsteps on the water. It's like it's like a churning. And then you'll look over and you'll see the tail dragging across the canal and this thing up on its on its back feet running. It's it's pretty pretty stinking cool. That's what you get when you I, live in Florida. I, I, want, I want to show like them in a, I want to show them an adult green bass list and how absolutely incredible this is. Wow. So, you know, when I see the green bass list adult, I mean, we don't have sail fins in America, but a green bass list adult is really impressive, like a sail fin. Look at this thing. Look at that guy right there. Go, go grab that baby over there, Cole. Yo. So these guys this, are gonna are gonna develop this crest as they get older. Only the males. Um, sure. And they, they don't have it yet, but they, they turn into that. Look at that animal. Look at those. So see those big back feet? That's so they have a good amount of surface area so they don't break the surface tension of the water and they can actually move. That little guy will turn into that. Absolutely incredible animal. Look at this. And they're $12.50. And if you buy one, you'll be automatically entered to win that beautiful guy in the oh, yeah. that we'll be giving away for oh. absolutely free tonight. Do I have any questions, Alicia? Yeah, we're not, unfortunately, in the near future, most likely not going to be getting blue or red iguanas. We can't bring them into the state, but we can capture the ones that are already here, the regular greens, and um, and ship them out, out, out of state. Quick, quick, quick question. How many dark morph species do they bring in? How many do we have up here? Yeah. We got one, but we have three for sale. One's actually sexed. So, um, if you want a specific sex, they're a little too small to sex right now, but one of them was we were able to make out it was a female okay i got um who is asking oh. dayton dude wants to know if they have to be purchased through the live what do you mean if if you want the sales that are going on now they will only be going on during the live for, so for all the stuff for the basilisk for yeah. for the giant hog nose for the 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 pink toes the black house things live birdies bird eaters and line day geckos those sales will only be happening during the live also the 10 we live. have a seinfeld fan we have a seinfeld fan george a, costanza george Cas shout out george costanza costanza um, i i know a real life george costanza um i'm not gonna say their name though but i love seinfeld i think i was la watching it just the other night um i also have someone asking um Rep it looks like reptiles to love is a little lost too what, what do you mean? Um, Where are I, they? They're new to to he, to us. Okay. To here. Uh, to, yeah, I, to here. I am here. Am I here? Yes, you're here. I saw him it, asking. Oh, George Costanza actually wants to know if we have any red-eyed crocs kings available. We do. We have one. If Cole could grab him. So this guy. So we generally don't sell guys like this just be, because it, you know it's just not the best to do. But so this guy came in with this regenerated tail. And Perfectly. We, he, regenerated. He's an absolute. He's a he's a perfect. Healthy, absolutely incredible animal. And he's only 100 bucks. We have one of them. So, if you want a perfect red eye croc skink with just a slightly shorter tail, there he is right there. Is that not one of the coolest animals you've ever seen? Look at that thing. That thing is a dragon. Show this off. That is, a, that is a tiny dragon. If you guys see the scales. We don't have our little toggle over here. We're not toggling. Let me see. Help us toggle. Boom. Dragon. Look at how. These scales are serious. Look at those. That if you can turn it to the side, they like, they are like a legit. Look at that, and as friendly as you like. So yes, we have a single what red tank, eye. Sorry, what tank setup do you need for red eye cross skins? Red eye cross. You can go back. Sorry. They require very very little. I mean, if you did a twenty long, that would be more than enough cage space for his entire life. You can do a couple in there. We actually, um, one of our office workers, Victoria, actually breeds these guys. Um, I think they have one or two eggs at a time. Um, I was looking up some more information about these recently. Um, yeah, if you had a 20 long and you kept it, space. you kept it wet and you threw some flat hides, 
We're talking layers. They, they're like a crevice animal. So if you have some flat hides or some cork bark stacked up, then this thing's gonna be happy. It's gonna have a place to hide out, um, stay very humid, and they like the dark. Uh, and that's gonna be a happy animal. Yeah. This dude's chubby. Yeah, he's yeah, fat. He's a, he's a um, girthy little one. I saw, I'll, go ahead. Oh. I, there's a lot of people here that are new tonight, so okay. if you wanna explain how this works. All right, guys, so here, here's the way it goes. So we're gonna go live for, I don't know how long, but we're, we're gonna be live tonight for the next couple hours at least. So the way we do it is um, we, we do a giveaway every live with a per with any purchase and what we're doing Cole, if you want to grab one we're giving away an absolutely beautiful there's a small picture of him below in the banner of an absolutely beautiful guyana oh. juvenile guyana red tail boa so if you purchase anything on the site you'll automatically be entered to win that guy for absolutely free um so where is he um he's in an unmarked bag he's that one right there boom so if you purchase a tank tagger if you sign up to become an elite member you buy a live animal feeders dry goods anything you'll automatically be entered to win that guy we'll also run it we are running 10 percent off the entire site with code march mayhem oh, and guys this is only for the live um we have mondo our giant hog nose at 36 percent off which is 250 dollars off yeah this guys this is this is the guy we're going to be giving away unfortunately his reds and his pinks aren't really coming through on the camera like they do in real in real life but trust me, I went downstairs. That's a the thing is sick. I, I went downstairs and personally picked out the best looking guy in a red tail we have. And that's him right there. I'm sorry, it's actually a female. I sexed it earlier. So you purchase anything on the site, you'll be eligible to win this guy, and we will announce the winner at the end of the live. We have flash sales going on. Um, like I said, Mondo, absolutely monstrous hog nose. That thing's two hundred and fifty dollars off right now. Duh. Um black house snakes are fifty percent off pink tail. Pink toe tarant tarantulas are 33% off. Goliath bird eaters are only $50. Line day geckos are $45. And green basilisks are only $12.50. And guys, those sales will only last for as long as we are live tonight. Speaking of sales happening right now, actually at 645, our trio of Rainbow Jacksons, the Ooh. auction just started literally like four or five minutes ago. So if you guys saw these Rainbow Jacksons and you want to get them possibly at half or more price it's then for free. tune into that off auction you know make sure you're an elite member you know and uh you'll be saving some mad money on that trio peter that's the last red eye crocs that we have i do believe yes that is the last red eye crocs have, but we have a lot of white eyes we do right? have some white eyes yeah we have a lot of white eyes and some of those white eyes have like red yeah i've seen that they're, they're almost like a pied cool. kind of color really cool animal yeah, so guys, the white eye croc sink is almost the exact same. They're just not going to have, they call them white eye, but they just don't have the red ring around the eye. But yeah, we got these ones. Actually, if you look at the ad we have up right now, um, our photographer, Andrew, has got a, incredible pictures of one that has like this red like blotching on its back and its side. Absolutely incredible. I, I, haven't, I haven't really seen that too much. It's it really cool. There's somebody asking about a tank size for a beauty dragon. For Bearded Dragon, um, yeah, you can start. So they're going to need something a little bigger, even though they're small. It depends, right? Up to, <laughs> yeah, it depends because they need, obviously, they're from the Australian desert, so they need extremely high heat. You don't want to put something in, something like that in a 10-gallon tank because you need what's called a heat gradient. So you're going to want heat on one side, and then you're going to want a cool side. So he can go soak up that heat. If he's like, all right, I've had enough heat, he can go over to that other side. So you don't want the whole tank just to be, you know, a scorching desert. So they start here, right? And they end here. So if you had a 10-gallon right now and you wanted to grab one of these babies, it'd be, the, it'd be a great time to do it. Um, and your 10-gallon would work fine. But uh, this dude gets big. So we're actually selling these right now. Can we go macro on these? Which, which, uh, which one of these? What were the two types that we had in the queue? Yeah, that might be, I believe that's a hypo citrus. This is definitely a hypo. You can tell by the males or the, by the nails, and it is a citrus. And these little guys, I mean, look at this little dude. Very cool little animal. We have we have them right now. You guys can get this animal right here if you want it. But healthy little baby, bearded dragons, looking great. Go back to the screen. Oh, yeah, I wish my little button was working, but we don't got a no action on the button. So, if you guys are just tuning in, 10% off, 
code at the cart, March Mayhem. If you put that code in, you'll be getting 10% off site-wide only during the live right now. Ton of flash sales. I mean, I'm looking at our board back here with our flash sales on it. We're talking 25, 50% off, 30% off of a ton of really good animals. We're talking stacked. We got Goliath bird eaters on there, pink toes, black house snakes, some really cool stuff. Sarah's asking, are they too young to sex? Yes, unfortunately they are. Um, we're not gonna be able to tell what they are yet. Uh, true gamer, any emerald tree boas? Yes, we will take out an emerald tree bo boa for you. Um, I don't see why not right now. It, it could happen. You trying to tangle with the red? Anything could happen at an any moment. You guys are tuning in to the underground studio. This is, you guys ask, we want to we provide it for you. That's the best part about these lives is, hey, look, we're here for you. We want to make it worth your time. That's why we do these flash sales. Guys, take advantage of it. Uh, we got the animals laying on the table. Um, and this, this is a sweet animal. Boom. Look at that. That is a, I'd call him a sub-adult emerald tree bow, one of the most beautiful snakes in, in the world. And I'm holding him with a hook because if anybody knows anything about <laughs> emerald tree bows, they have just about the biggest teeth of any snake. I think they probably, pound for pound, do have the biggest teeth. Like, I don't, like don't want to mess with it. Like, if, like that. if these got the size of anacondas and retics, their teeth would be bigger, I think. Right? Yeah, guys. I mean, these things have monstrous teeth. A, a lot of the times, um, this is obviously an arboreal species, um, and we have a couple available right now. So arboreal species, um, they tend to be a little bit more aggressive because food is more scarce, so they have to be more aggressive to get that food. And I think they say that they have the longer teeth because they eat a lot of birds and things like that, and they need to get through all those feathers to get to something they could actually uh, hold on to. Oh, yeah. But absolutely incredible Ooh. display animal. If you set this up in like a 36 inch exoterra in your living room, you can, some people even do live plants and things like that. And these guys, if you've ever seen them perched, they coil up on a, on a single branch and sit there with their head tucked down in the middle. A really cool display animal. Obviously the brilliant green on them. And this guy's actually got really, really nice white saddling down the back. And these guys only get about five feet, not real big. Um, but again, at, at five foot, that's something you absolutely do not want to get bit by. This is not a snake for beginners. We're talking touch your bone. <laughs> yeah, it just, it, 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 it'll it, hit your bone. It can go quick your and just like a little tickle. <laughs> I remember I was packing one of y'all's orders, and I put my hand down on a bag one time thinking, Ooh. I'll just touch this bag, and I felt this tooth just, it touched my bone. It just went straight through my knuckle. I swear it just touched the other side. And then I pulled my hand back. It happened so fast. Yo, these guys will put a hole in you. Oh, yeah. I've only ever been bit by neonates when they're still red. Oh, yeah. That's, these guys actually, just like chondros, are born a different color. So these guys will be born red and then turn this green, obviously. And those crazy heat pits on the face. Is that what those are? Yeah, heat pits. Shout out to Marissa. No, not yet. I'm watching. Yeah, you Charles. guys can see, you know, they sense heat like the predator. With those, they got pits around their lip. Dude, I just yes. watched that movie the other the, night. The, the original. Predator. Oh, the dude. original. Arnold Schwarzenegger gets covered in mud. He's invisible. You guys have seen Phenomenal it? movie. The only... Here, let, let me know what you guys think. There's only been one good Predator movie since the original. The original is obviously the best. But the one, uh, Predators, with Adrian Brody, where they all dropped off on the planet. That's the only other watchable one. Every other one has been absolutely it's terrible. It's so sad. The even Gary the, Busey one's a little... The second one, it's even not Even the it's Alien vs. Predator ones, oh, they I were hate just... Them. I hate them. They were so bad. I but the them. first Alien movie, too. Oh, I love Alien. That Alien. thing was... Alien oh, and oh, Aliens, oh. the sequel, are, are absolutely Yo. terrible. Yo, Alicia's Sick animal. Got yes. A shout out. Yes, Let's Alicia. Go. I have a couple orders. Please, shout out. Me, oh, oh. Let me pull this. Oh. Our first order of the night, Joey. He ordered some cave hides. Big show. Woo. Oh, man. I did that with my I teeth. Got a dud. I did that with also, my teeth. <laughs> we also have Marissa. She ordered a six pack of Yujimon cards. What? Shout out, Marissa. Hey. Oh. That's... Cole, why don't you show our, our brand new and improved. You, oh, I'm sorry, not Yujimon. Well, we got this. Counters. This is the brand newest of the newest Yujimon cards. We got the Forest Dragon. I think we. Is that what this is? We have a very similar similar animal sitting here on the table. Super cool. Um, but those are Yujimon cards. We also have these Tank Taggers, Tell which. Them how to get cards. Oh, get Yujimon cards. Sign up, become an elite member. And then put them in your cart, and they will come for free. To your door for free. So you can get them for free every month if you're an elite member. But I do have some of our back issues that you can just purchase if, for anybody. You don't have to be an elite. Uh, just search uh, card or u.g.mon. 
on the website and those guys will pop up. I see. I me, me and Drew have been arguing about this. I put I want it. I want u dot g dot. So it says u g. So people don't think it's like Ugmon. Does that make sense, dude? I, I have these conversations with you know? all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but it's different. He's like, man, man, you know. That makes sense, though. Hey, right? look, guys, check these out. Our you tank taggers. These are new and improved. More durable. Got the shine on them. This is the Solcata one. We got we got additions here. <laughs> I think we got more. Do we have more tank taggers than we have Ugimon cards at this point? Um, I Yo, don't think I mean, so. None total. These things are pretty cool, though. I my personal favorite is the uh, Chondro one because I'm a Chondro fan. Shout out any Chondro fans. Rubber boas. Stinky uh, Nugget. You will receive that card in the next few days. Uh, they shipped out this week. So the way it is is every month uh, the month ends and then we we ship out um, the number that we need and then you should get them. They go USPS, so they go. Obviously, they're not overnight. So, Jonathan yes. Has a question. Go ahead, Jonathan. Um, how do you tell the sex of crested geckos? Very easily, actually. Uh, um, they do need to be bigger. They can't be babies. Well, I mean, I mean, some people use um a jeweler. I, can pull, a out a, I some, can pull out a good example. Some people use a jeweler's loop uh, to look for pores on the babies. I can't do that. My eyesight's not good enough. But when they're adults, it's super easy. The males will just have a big bulge at the base of their tail, and the females won't. And Cole's gonna go grab. Um, an easy example. It's super easy to tell. Stinky Nugget, shout out. Ordered February and March. Shout out, Stinky Nugget. Um, any more questions? What? Alicia? Um, they want to see fish scale geckos, but those are pretty hard. To handle, fish right? scale? I don't think we brought any. No. We didn't. Well, I did bring we should, a. You we should make a hog nose tank tiger, somebody said. Oh, that'd be great. All right, I don't have the fish scale gecko, but I do have guys. This is an under. This is Cole's underrated banger for the day, and I completely agree. Show it. Our boy Mike, shout out Mike from downstairs. This is an African wall gecko, was it? African wall gecko. Look at that thing. I'm not gonna take him out because he's lightning fast. Dude, look, look, look at the cool. coloration stripes down the sides of the neck. I mean, how cool is that guy? We only have I, I think we have three or so of these guys left. Super cool, underrated gecko. Yo, I just got an alarm going off. Our second auction uh -oh. is starting right now. The Maruki Blue Tongue I Skinks just, going on auction. Uh, I got these two clingy geckos here to kind of show you guys. Um, sex in them is not tough. Would you, would you hold one of these? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Ken, we do not have any rubber boas, I'm afraid. So, guys, this is a male. You see, you guys uh, see the bulge? And that's a female, if I can move my hand. <laughs> it's, uh, it's obvious. There, there's nothing there, except my hand. There. And this one is, there's something there. <laughs> <laughs> that's different. Something, it will either be there or it will not be there. I can't, I'm not getting the angle, uh, you know, but you guys can tell. Um, it'll be pretty obvious. Look at and that beautiful paint stripe. That's an incredible Isn't animal. that nice? Look at that guy. Yeah. This is one of our breeders? Yep. This is one of our breeders, guys. We could have we could have babies out any day. Um, yeah. I saw A-Town. They're asking if we have any uh, king snakes. I don't believe we have any king snakes at the Can moment. Can see the, uh, what is it called? The helmeted iguana that Austin brought up? Oh. Did he bring Austin it up? Yeah. Where is it? It's underneath Mondo. You don't want to be, un no you don't be underneath Mondo. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Guys, if you if if you watched, was it Friday's live last Friday? Yeah, I think so. If you watched last Friday's live, me and Austin kept one of each, one of these on our shoulder for almost the entire show. At one point, he actually jumped on the side of my face and then was sitting on the top of my head. So, guys, this is this is this is also an un, super underrated animal. Look look at the color and the pattern, the big crest, and he's super chill. You you whoa! You just tried to you just try to make a break for Maybe it. Maybe not. No, he's super chill. When they when they know they got a spot to perch, they're he's just chilling. chilling. They're so hanging. if you if you're trying to you know trying to go out get some attention, you know you're going to, trying to be a cool guy at the party. You buy one of these guys, you throw them on your shoulder. Yeah, you you're are like that. Some, you're some kind of like terrestrial pirate or something. Yo, I bought a dry good that goes really good with an animal like this. Oh yeah, definitely. If you guys have ever seen this, it's literally like cork bark in a board, and uh, also you, known as cork board. Oh, or tile. So, or tile. get you some. It holds humidity really well. It's really resistant to mold and fungus. And uh, I like these because it's like a highway. 
any animal, especially like that, yeah. or skink, or small lizard that has any sort of nail, that animal can crawl up into the top third of your <laughs> setup real easy. Poggers! Hey, no, look at the name. Hey, no weebs in I the chat, I'm afraid. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna have to go just What's like, a weeb? A weeb is someone who likes um, like Japanese culture too much. Whoa! Did hey, you guys Hawk. see that? Oh, did you see that? That thing just launched. But anyway, Corktile, super, super nice addition to any uh, setup where you want your animal to have access to oh, like yeah. a high yeah, branch. They're, they're great. Josiah's sad face, yes. Yes, Alicia. I have oh, another question no, about the smooth helmeted sad. iguana. Go ahead. Could they be cohabited with a Cuban false the chameleon? Uh, no, I would I would not miss those species. Is he going to jump? He's thinking. Give him a little nut. He's Give thinking. He's looking at me, on. though. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't cohabitate them with another species of lizard. It could happen any time. Can you smooth them on? Oh, man, the, the tarantulas? Yo, we got some mad tarantulas to show you guys the, the tonight. The tarantulas? Yo, while he's grabbing those tarantulas, I want to tune you guys into the flash tales that are going on. Uh, they're only going on during the course of this live, so make sure you take advantage of them while you can. Most of these are 50% off, 30% off of animals that, hey, it's what you'd expect. They're freaking awesome. Uh, we got the Lion Day geckos for 25 bucks off. $45 gecko, and it's a, a sick gecko. Uh, your Goliath bird eater is $30 off. Only 50 bucks for a Goliath, a monster tarantula. I mean... There's ton of them. If you guys, uh, can you can you post some of those, Alicia, in the in the chat? Our flash sales. Our flash sales. Yeah. Anyway, we got a lot of good flash sales right now. Yes, absolutely. Um, they tell me, dude, you're terrible at this. What are you terrible at? Tell me. I'll, I'll help you through that. Um, what else? Where do the live auctions place take place, Kodiak? Um, you can see them in the queue below. You can also um, there's a tab at the top it of. Has to become elite. You have to be elite first, obviously. If you're not an elite member, you can't participate in the auctions it's seven dollars a month and guys just so you know most animals go for at least 50 percent off and get free shipping so that's automatically 45 dollars off Boom. each order um and another thing you could do what a lot of our elite members do is they'll win an auction and then add other things from the rest of the site that aren't on auction to that order and that'll still ship for free so obviously incredible value um there with elite uh, but yeah let's take a look at this i believe this is a Big black earth tiger, I think is what we call this guy. And uh, I am I am afraid right now. <laughs> I like tarantulas a lot. I've had a bunch. But I, I don't know. I think this is just a mean old world species. So He's quick. He's fast. Tarantulas. If you guys he wants have, to sink them fangs. If you guys have never like had adult tarantulas like, like Usambora baboons or like cobalt blues, they are, when you try to change their enclosure, they are so fat, fast. I used to do it in my bathtub. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, though. I, I used to have just the meanest um, Venezuelan sun tiger and Usambora baboon, and they were, they were really terrifying animals. Yo, Sean Johnson, shout out about that Brukesia that you got. I'm super stoked that that animal's doing well for you. We, I love that species particularly. I was, I sent Woody this picture. Can you switch back over? This picture of a Brukesia. Oh yeah, Did you the see bioluminescence. That? Dude, yeah, that's so cool. If you shine a black light on your Brukesia, you see these crazy colors come through that, you know. I don't. Yeah, just I want to know if you can cohab an eastern indigo with a ball python. You can if you want to have one pet snake. I think I used to watch videos with Josiah of Easter Indigos like slamming. Oh yeah. A bo I I don't know. It was it, yeah. You don't want to uh, you don't want to put that snake with another snake. Yes, Jonathan, old world mini tarantula. Yes, G guys, let let me know what your favorite tarantulas are. I I love um any of the pokies. So like the the ornamentals, the um the rega no yeah the regalis is is that one the the goodies. I like Green Bottle Blues, Venezuelan Sun Tigers. Baby Burps. Interesting. <laughs> so, you'd be interested in uh, sub-adult or adult what? The Big Black Earth Tiger? Because that guy was a sub-adult, I do believe. Oh, dude, we got another sweet tarantula. Let's check them out. Show them this Oh, the, the ornamental? Yes. This, yes. Is another, this is another frightening old world uh, species. 
Kirsten, can we see a capybara? Yes, we will in a in a little bit. We will see a uh, a juvenile capybara. Yes, Alicia. Maybe, Maybe I'll show them off. Yes, yeah, get them up there. Well, that belly. That's a big spider. It's not a spider. Is a spider a tarantula? Is that is that even technically correct? Can you so, do that? So, so I believe spiders are. Tar I don't know. So they they, <laughs> they basically break it down into true spider and tarantula. Uh, obviously, that's a tarantula. A true spider is gonna be something like a black widow or a daddy long legs or you know. Man, I can't even show you the right side of this uh, animal. Maybe Alicia can help me with uh, some visual. John, but... do, do we have any other exotic mammals? We do. I don't, are they? Do you know if those are posted up? What is it? Alicia, uh, the other mammals we got do not. Uh, please don't let that so. thing run away, dude. No. <laughs> yes, we, we do have some other um, other mammals that'll be posted up probably tomorrow. Look at this impressive creature! Look at that thing. That is that is an ornamental baboon tarantula from. I think we get them out of West Africa. Look at that beautiful animal. Very very mean. That thing will rear up and move at absolutely lightning speed. It's got white, black, beige, beautiful like almost rose ish. Hairs coming out of the bottom of its body. It's a really pretty, pretty animal. Look at the spots on its abdomen. Woo! He's off fire. Look at that guy. Yo! And the perfect enclosure for it, guys. We have these, we have these acrylic setups. Can we switch back to the other screen? We have these acrylic setups. This is one of the black ones by Reptazoo, and this one is awesome. Especially for a tarantula, or you got a salamander, or a smaller animal. Man, a really great showpiece if you want to add this to your room. Joey says his favorite tarantula is his glad vertiter. Guys, glad vertiters are, are absolutely incredible. I remember the first time I went into our retail store... Uh, I don't know, oh, close to 15 years ago at this point, and I saw a Goliath bird eater, a tarantula with a leg span this big. I couldn't believe it. I went home and I got on YouTube and I was like watching all these videos of them eating rodents and all roaches and all kinds of crazy, crazy stuff. Um, spring peepers, I, we don't, I don't think we have an ETA on spring, pe spring peepers at the moment, but there should be an out of stock ad on the website. You can sign up for notifications. We'll let you know when we get more of those guys. I yes, Alicia. I have quite a few order shout outs. Alright, let's hear oh. some order shout outs. Sh where's, shout the, where's the going? Here. Oh. You gotta blow them up though. Oh, I got you. Some ASMR Keep them everybody. coming. Keep them coming. Nobody wants ASMR from me or Cole. Just some gurgling. Okay. <laughs> Man. Just here is this destroyed nose that I broke a couple years ago. Oh, Sorry about that. Order shout outs. Look, it's crooked. Look at. Guys, <laughs> I, guys I, I, I flying need coal in the nose about five years ago. You see it? You see it? And now it looks like that. In jujitsu, yo, he wasn't even like chill about it. He just jumped. He just like Superman. Well, I, I went for it. I went for a knee drive pass, and I think he was trying to boy sit, in sit, the air. He's trying to sit up. He's trying to sit up to double leg me. This boy knee I, drive I, pass with I no need... feet on the ground, just straight up. Kachanga. I used to I used to do a little kickboxing, so I got I got a little flying knee. So whoever gets the shout out for Woody, is a <laughs> bow right in his head. I already know. We're supposed to be doing order shout outs. Order yeah. shout outs. Sorry, we got distracted. We are, look at this. We're full. Okay. We have Tim. He ordered some Repticalcium. He's entered to win the Red Tail Boa. Let's go. Tim. We got, woo. We've got Tim. Mia. Who? She or, Mia. Mia. She ordered a, quite a few things. She got she took advantage of her baby green basilisk sale. Nice. Very awesome. She got her Yujimon monthly card. There you go. And she also ordered a like Pangea egg organizer. Straight she's, at this. She's, egg organizer? She's breeding some stuff. Oh, sweet. Oh, very good. Nice. nice. What are you breeding? I want to know what's going in that egg organizer. And we've got David and Hunter, who took advantage of our Pinto Tarantula sale. Oh, let's go, David and Hunter. And our uh, baby Hypo Inferno Bearded Dragon. Wow. Damn, wow. David and Hunter. Yo, whoever just bought that Basilisk just saved half. On a bass list. What was the other one that they bought? The flash sale animal? The pink toe? toe. The pink toe? Yeah. You saved 30% on that animal. Outback Bulls, do all orders qualify for the Boa? Yes. yes. Even UG Mon cards. Anything on the site. If you sign up for an elite member, buy a tank tiger, a live animal, UG Mon cards, feeders, dry goods, anything will qualify you to win the juvenile high red I female red tail Boa. And she's absolutely beautiful. What did I think of USC 299? It was awesome. It was one of the best cards I've seen in a while. Um, it was awesome see, to see Dustin Poirier um, knock out that French dude. Um, Sean O'Malley, I knew he was going to do that to Cheeto. I don't think Cheeto's very good, if I'm honest. Um, what else was on the card? It was a great card, but yeah.
Hey, old Brazil. Brazil Shout out, Brazil. Yo, we got what? Brazil in the house. What's up, Brazil? Brazil Bro. is in the house literally all the time. <laughs> Let me draw some Cresties real quick. Yo, you guys. If you saw one of our last lives, you know what kind of Cresties we got in right now. We have some really nice ones. We have some really pretty babies in stock. You guys can have any of these that I'm showing here. We always seem to do good on Cresties. They're just an easy animal. You, you know, plug and go. Cresty will thrive in a simple setup, doesn't, and they're, doesn't they're even an amazing-looking animal. If you guys can't see, he, he wants to jump right now. So, um, can we go macro? I want to show some of these guys off. Tons of variation in these animals. Very pretty. Look at that patterning down the back. Then you have this one, almost completely beige and pink. Then you got this grayed out dude. Guys, all of these tonight, if you see one you like, we'll make it yours. Yeah, we need to write um, some numbers on them. We'll write some numbers on them. You can, uh, when you place your order. Michelle says she wants uh, uh, two Cresteds. Yo, Michelle, you can grab them. You can pick them right now. I like this baby with this awesome tail pattern. It's very bright. Tell them to join us on UGRlive.com. Guys, yeah. on Instagram, get on UGRlive.com. Anybody, yeah. You guys Take, aren't getting the full experience. You'll see the chat. You'll see everything. You'll so, get our macro uh, macro shot. So check these out. This is our crusty selection for the night. And we got them. Man, I I don't know why, but this guy right here, this is the one. A little, a little dude. Very pretty animals. Give us a shout out if you want to see any of these. And, uh, yo, we got setups, too. If you guys need a setup, you can plug right in. You're going to have your setup arrive in the Crested right behind guys, you. Guys, Crested geckos are such great pets. They don't need heat like most reptiles. They'll, they'll be completely fine at room temperature. And because they don't need heat, a lot of people, including myself, what I used to do, I used to just keep them in, um, like, sterilite clear sterilite containers that I put some holes in, put some mesh on it, and then I, I kept one male and two females together, and they drop eggs all the time. You take out the eggs, you put them in a little... Uh, so little what, whatever it is and just put them on the shelf and they'll hatch out in a couple months. It, they're super fun. Next thing you know, you're an addict and you want to breed everything because you got some crested geckos. Someone yeah. wants to see the spitting cobras. The, oh, yeah, the, the, the pied uh, sputatrix, the Javan spitting. So we have a Javan spitting, uh, I'm sorry, an, a lacistic spitting cobra and then also a pied spitting cobra. I don't think I'm going to be able to take them out tonight. We all need goggles. I would like to. <laughs> we do all need goggles. Um. I, I do a lot of the venomous here. I'd we, be we stepping. Used to do a lot of venomous. I'd be stepping over there for um, that. I wish we still did more of it, but. Oh, uh, me too. I miss the squams. The oh, the squams. Dude, I. A lot of people don't think. I don't know. I feel like they're an underrated banger of the venomous world. And they're just, not. They're not underrated. No. No. Everybody they're they're, loves, they're highly rated. Squam. So what happened was, yes, Alicia. I'm so sorry to Go interrupt ahead. your venomous talk, but. Somebody, oh, we've spotted real. <laughs> can we set? We can't sex those um, cresties, right? They're too small. We we can we can give a best guess. We can try to look for some pores, but we're not gonna be able to guarantee it at that size. No. So Michelle, yeah, at that size, we want to be able to sex them. Yeah. If you still want them, you can put them in your cart, and then we can have you pick. From Michelle, which you two. could you could get one and grow it up, and if you wanted to find its uh, like get a pair, then uh, you could order a, an animal that's a little bit older. And uh, that'd be a good way to get the pair you wanted, but you'd have to grow our, this baby up and find out the sex before you ordered that second one. Um, otherwise, you're gonna have to, uh, you know, play by chance. I see Tragic Morris wants to see some skinks. How about the blue tongue skink, the Maruki blue tongue skink that we are actually we have on live auction at this very moment. That is going to be... 7.15. It's already 15 minutes in. Yeah, it's going to be going live for the next 45 minutes for all our, all of our elite members. If you're not an elite member, make sure you sign up so you can participate in this auction. Look um, at this. Look at how beautiful this guy shining. is. Shining. Be beautiful so blue what tongue skink. What gender? Um, I don't know the gender. Blue tongue skinks are super hard to sex. Actually, it, it looks like a female. The head is not super broad. So I would say this is most likely a female. Um, skinks are, are, why is that funny? Nothing. Why did you laugh at that? The last skinks? <laughs> hey, settle down, cheeseburger. A little bit. You settle down out there. Uh, but yeah, 
Super <laughs> probable female. Oh, I would I would say almost guaranteed female. Look at that blue tongue. Look at the blue tongue. It is a blue tongue. Go go with your blue tongue. Blue tongue. Is it okay? Is it because in the wild they had like avian predators and they'll open Ooh. up that mouth? I you know I think I saw this on an, Animal Planet or something. But they'll open that mouth up. It's an intimidation tactic. Yeah, and they'll hundred percent. Throw out that broad blue tongue and it'll frighten away their predator. But they also, they never bite, but I've been bitten by one. <laughs> they never mad. bite, but I have been bitten. They Look, rarely I'm bite. Just saying, they rarely bite. I, I used to take these to kids' parties. We would do parties with these reptiles, and I never had a bad experience with one. But I, I think if this animal had to defend itself, it could. Magic Rose is asking how old. This guy's probably nine months, close to a year. These guys grow super fast. Uh, my good friend, um, I'm not going to say his name. My good friend breeds a whole bunch of these. Swell. And um, all swell. All swell. Yeah, yeah, all swell. He, he breeds a bunch of these. Um, they're, they're a really, really good thing to breed if you can get them going because they, they grow up and mature super quickly. So you want a blue tongue? Boom. There's an absolutely beautiful blue tongue. That's being auctioned right now for our elite members. Auction. Right up. Going for mad low prices. I think it's a retail 250 for this guy. So a total value of $395 including Yeah. Food. You have a very good chance, if you're an elite member, to save very good money on that right there. Oh, so, very awesome. Yo, guys, if you're just tuning in, we have March Mayhem is our code tonight. 10% off site-wide. So use it now. Use it while we're on the live. Otherwise, the it door closes. Be gone. The door closes. And uh, our flash sales. We have some crazy flash sales. We have a $250 off of one of these giant hog noses we have over here. Pink toes going for 30% off. Black house snakes for 50% off. Line day geckos at only 45 bucks for a line day gecko. An amazing animal. Some really cool stuff right now. Take advantage of it. It's only lasting for the duration of this, uh, for this live. So Reptiles to Love is asking if we have two phones to do this. We're not doing this on, on iPhones. This isn't some rinky-dink operation. We have two cameras. We have a producer, a laptop running the whole thing. This is, this is We're not messing around. This is a real deal. Bro, we got the tech Drew. We got, we got tech Drew on We this got thing. AI He's literally Andrew. an Android. AI Android Andrew. <laughs> Android. <laughs> Andrew. Android. <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> like I said last day, but yeah. We're blessed. Yeah, we, we, yeah we're we super lucky. Blessed. Drew Drew is a tech wizard he's a wit do you know who drew is drew's gandalf gandalf drew's a wizard i don't know what gandalf has got like rhymes and stuff drew's more no, of like a more straight linear. shooter toby Maguire keeps getting shout outs I'm, who toby Maguire? I'm more like I, robocop yeah, yeah. robocop yeah but he's not <laughs> <laughs> the the machine is taking over you know kuna kuna yes i do look like toby Maguire. that is a true fact i should have been his stunt double and um, your name is Peter. And my name is Peter. Yes, in case you're just tuning in, my name is Peter, which is also obviously the name of Spider-Man. It's it was just meant to be, really. Um, I have a question. I, I look like the like Spider-Man after he uh, the well, black like gave you know, up. No, yeah, after he gave up after and started drinking. <laughs> <laughs> or that one that went a little emo, the dark, the no, black no, no, Spider-Man, no, 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 old dark no, no, no. Spidey. Like Try to shoot tats, a web. You know? <laughs> Yo, yo, buddy. Yes, go ahead. Somebody, somebody really needs our help. What do we help? Oh, with? man. We're here to help. Well, we hope. We hope we can help. They just got their baby bearded dragon. They've been feeding it small crickets, small mealworms, mustard greens, and kale, but it's not wanting to eat that. Okay, the first thing, whenever someone says something like that, the first question I ask is, how do you have them set up? And most importantly, what are your temperatures? Yeah. Those guys need a super hot, hot spot, over 100 degrees. You can do 105, 110 degrees. Hot spot. Um, that's the first thing I ask always. What's your hot spot like? Get a temp gun. We just had a sale on them the other night. It's 15 bucks. You can tell right where that animal's sitting, exactly what temperature it is, and uh, yeah, that's a huge, a huge tool when I'm taking care of an animal like that that loves the heat. Yes, Thor from Endgame. Yes, that that I am the Spider-Man version of that. Yes, that's correct. Um, send a hug to Brazil. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> what, what you got? Yo. Hey, shout hey, out, shout out, to shout out Brazil. Shout, shout out, out to Brazil. Bruto. 
Shout out, Bruto. Hey, Shout Bruto. out, dog. We have some great brothers. They kick our butts in the gym. They work here with us. And uh, we make we make fun of each other all the time. It's awesome. We yeah. love you, Brazil. Yeah, shout, also shout out Parada. <laughs> Missed that oh, guy. Oh, man. Missed that, miss that guy. Yeah, we, me and him train jiu-jitsu, so we're around Brazilians all the time. I literally live with Brazilians, so. Yo. Dude, I, dude I'll, I'll, I'll cook a uh, picanha that will rival any real Brazilian. I, I guarantee Whoa, it. Whoa, you're going to make will, some people mad. I will grill a picanha on an open flame that will rival any Brazilian or any Brazilian steakhouse for that Pop up, uh, What is it? Pop up uh, on, the, on the fridge. We got you posted. Oh, yeah, yeah, Get yeah. a picture of Woody yeah. throwing down some picanha. I'm wearing actually this exact shirt. Papa Paria. Andrew's made it, so it's Spanish, not Portuguese. Oh, sorry. That's offensive. Paulo always offensive. says that my biggest dream is to be Brazilian, which is not true, but he, he, he likes to think that. <laughs> Yo, my boy Woody used to mercilessly make fun of this Brazilian guy yeah. at the gym that was a monster. Yeah, he's, he's and a monster. And he'd just poke him. He'd just talking that, talking that smack, and then, you know, the monster would come over and start squeezing on Woodward, and Woodward would just be halfway out, just yep. still making almost, jokes. Almost just, he just... Oh man, we had some fun. We hey, had some good times. They say don't write a check with yeah. your mouth that your butt can't cash. I can take the beating, so I'm gonna keep talking. Boy, Woody keeps that pin. <laughs> yeah, I keep, I keep talking. He keeps that right in that. And check. that one, the guy he's talking about is, is smaller than me. There's another one named Parada who's about. That's 200, who I was thinking. Oh yeah, two, he's 230 pounds of absolute gorilla, and I, I used to just. I guess you're yeah. right. You do this with all. No, I thought he just did this with Parata. Oh, I talk, I talk smack the dog too. But he does it too. to everybody. We're the same yeah. way, but he's, he's much better than me. Hey, guys, if you're just tuning in, we have the Cresties we just pulled oh. out. We have some Gargs tonight as well. If you guys don't know anything about New Caledonian geckos, um, these are the Gargoyle gecko. Super, uh, super cool looking gecko. This one has red spots all down its back. Another very easy to take care of, very rewarding, and it could be a project for you. You could, you could get a male and a female today. These are adults. And uh, you could give them the right humidity and they'll be producing for you. A very easy gecko to take care of. Very beautiful gecko. And uh, they're fun to handle. Easy to handle. Look at that guy. Absolutely beautiful. Crest. No, this is our garg. We showed the crested earlier. Similar look. Is it retic? Uh, I would call this an orange blotch. What would you call yeah, that, Woody? Orange blotch. Orange blotch. Beautiful. Can I get a little closer look at this one? I don't know why it's not written tonight. So this is a this is a a big old gecko. He's very pretty. He's got dark head. He's got beautiful beautiful spots. Is it a male or a female? Can you this tell? is definitely a boy. Um. So we have two that I have out here to show you tonight. Um, but obviously, we have a lot more available on our site if you guys are interested in these. I have a question for their setup. Yeah. Are the gargoyle geckos habitats like crested geckos? Oh, just absolutely the same. Um, some people, wow, this is a this is a chubby mama right here. Man, <laughs> this is a big girl. Look, she's got a little regen tail going on. But look at how pretty the pinks and the dark colored stripes on this animal. Both these are available. If you guys want a gecko that could go in, man, you guys could set this up right now and we'll start enjoying this species because it's super easy to handle. Look at how big is that it's one a big gecko. Or female? I'm sorry, I don't know. This one is a female. So we have a pair up here right now. Um, and they would make some pretty babies, we would think. So if you guys are interested, you guys like one of these, these are available right now. You can switch the screen back over, Alicia. Uh, shout out to, I'm sorry, where was it? Brian, he said he got it. His uh, um, dwarf came in from us. It's doing well. I saw another one. Um, oh, Kaler got his red red tail green rat snake, and it's awesome. Yeah, red tail green rats are, uh, guys, I'm a snake guy, and um, it's for me, it's either venomous or old world rat snakes. I love um, red tail green rats, all the different phases they come in. Uh, Vietnamese blue beauties, Taiwan beauties. Um, oh, what, what are those little red ones? Oriental rat snakes, Mandarin rats. I love all those things. Yo, I'm crazy about those cave dwelling. Oh, cave dwelling. Rat oh, I used I, to have one. Absolutely. I love those species. Yeah, they're so cool. They were just, they had everything going for them for a rat snake. Awesome pattern. Just a little feisty. 
they get they get nice and big, very pretty. Very there, pretty there's snake. actually I used to have a cave dwelling rat snake, and I I always thought it was like three snakes at once. Like the head is a, from one snake, the body is from one snake, and the tail is from a, another that is, snake. That is, that's a know? cool that's a cool observation because they do. It's like they change so rapidly. Yeah, their just pattern so, changes so, so rapidly. Different. And guys, if you want, go, Google real quick a pic. Uh, just Google cave dwelling rat snake and go to images. There's a picture of one hanging from like a root in a cave wall with a bat in its mouth. It's Dude. eating a bat. It's like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Probably perched so up there, cool. just hanging on that yeah. root. Somebody asked to see uh, oh, Black House to snake. see the Black House. Awesome. Somebody, who is this? We got David asking to see a Black House snake. Check that out. Here African Black House snake. Super simple. Oh, look at him. He's going right to the camera. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Shout out. Yeah, guys. Black House snakes are super, super good pets. Very easy to care for. Obviously, very docile. I think they only get around three feet. They're, gonna, they're rodent eaters. You could do this guy in a 20 long or a 30 breeder their entire life. This one's 50% off and right now. And they're 50% off crap. right now. 15 bucks. $15. 15 bucks. And guys, if you're just joining us, if you buy one of these guys or any of the things we have on sale right now, you'll be automatically entered to win a high pinkish red uh, juvenile female guy in a red tail boat. That's absolutely beautiful. That I went down and handpicked earlier today. So entered in to win for free. For like, free, absolutely you won free. It I think we have them at two hundred and fifty dollars retail. So that guy will be given away at the end of the show for absolutely free to anyone who purchases anything on the site, whether it be an animal that's on sale like this beautiful black house snake, a tank tag, or an elite membership, any other live animal, dry good feeders, anything you'll automatically be, be entered. This guy has red on its head. This is a yeah. Woody. You did a good one. Yeah, I'm picking yeah. this one. You picked. A yeah, good I, pick, I definitely I picked the prettiest one we had for sure. That's a, that's a. Sick uh, can they cohab? I wouldn't cohab these guys. I think they can. They they do eat reptiles in the wild, so I'll definitely avoid that. <laughs> order done, Michelle. What'd you order? What did Michelle order, Alicia? Jim and Dean. Well, see, I just <laughs> oh. shout out, so. <laughs> I like this comment right here. What? Leanna Rowland. You gonna get that Jim and Dean <laughs> blue tongue? <laughs> <laughs> hey, so you Michelle get that. Did she want? Which baby crest did she want? Yo, Michelle, Leanna Michelle, Rowland. What, she got two. Michelle, which baby crest did you want? She got two, so. I'll show. Two. I'll, I'll show you some. those guys? I'll bring them over. Hey, Leanna, what is... The Blue Tongue Skink at right now in the auction. Jimmy Dean Sausage. Hey, Leanna, tell me, what is that animal at? Because you, are, I know you're getting a deal. Maybe she doesn't want to post it because she doesn't want to know. She's about to steal this Blue Tongue. Guys, there's live auctions <laughs> happening right now. Um, is the 645 one, is the Rainbow Jackson's trio still going? It's okay. 645 to 745, so. Oh, so 15 more 15 minutes and you minutes. can have yourself a trio. I don't know what those are at right now, but I'm sure they're freaking... Smoking that price point. So I have these uh, crested. Alicia, you want to tell them? I'm so sorry. Go ahead. So we had somebody that was looking for crested. I can give you a label here to kind of help you out here if you wanted to uh, have yourself one the of these. The Maruki's at 150 The Maruki's at 150 Get to YouTube. Wow. Get to our website. Get to UGRlive.com. So, Yo, folks, you'll, you'll be hitting this macro shot right you're now. You're the one that's asking about You'll be part of geckos. other comments. You Get over there. Yours now. This is... Auction is on the website. Number one. UGRlive.com. And whatever you see there on that camera that's pink, it is pink in person. It's not showing as well. But this Take is very pretty. Off. This is a very pretty little guy. Oh, yeah. That did a lot. There you, there you go. There you Ooh, go. Ooh, look at his head. Man, that's a pretty one. That's number one. Here's number two. A little more bold patterning. That's got some deep color in it. It's very pretty. That's number two. I like that. Sometimes they get that line just right across their head, ear to ear. A lot of them have that. And then we have number three. This one's a little smaller, and its tail is the boldest part of its pattern, but I kind of like that. It's kind of, it's unique. <laughs> That's number three. And we have number four. I know we had somebody out there that was asking about these. This guy's in shed, but he looks like he has a little bit of a Dalmatian pattern. He's got a few black dots on him. Very pretty gecko. It's got these knee pads. Some of them have just that white patterning that shows up just on these. And number five. This one is a little... It's got some Dalmatian patterning as well. That's number five. So was that Michelle? Yeah. Or Michelle. if she wants, we can just do random ones. We can do random ones, obviously. But hey, if you guys, you guys are here, you guys are in the auction, we want to give you the benefits of being able to say, hey, I want that animal. So any of these could be yours. And uh, just give us a shout out. I do have some order shout outs. 
Uh -oh. um, we have Kyle. He took advantage of the Baby Green Basilisk sale. Oh! He ordered two. Baby Green Basilisk, you just got a 50% off. Oh, you, Whoa. you literally got... You got one for free. He got yeah. two for 25 You, got, you, did, you did a BOGO Green Basilisk. Guys, look up what an adult Green Basilisk yeah. looks like. It's absolutely incredible. We're sell, we sell the baby for $12.50. This smells yeah. like then, the 90s. Remember those little, oh, remember those little, little pallet? Little, guns? Oh, the you best. loaded the revolver the with that little ring. Oh, Michelle yeah. wants one ding, in ding, five. Ding. What is it? One in five, Michelle. We got you on one, one in five. five. Yo, Michelle. Your name is going on them. Done. And then I have Jared Johnson. He also ordered a whole bunch of dry goods. This is Michelle. Oh, shout um, out. And he also got 50% off of his tank tagger Ooh. for the ball python. Wow, oh, we got yes. the tagger. And of course, Michelle. Bro, we didn't show them taggers in a little bit. Let's see them taggers. Yo, you want to get tagged up? Boom. Get yourself some tags. Imagine having your tank decked out. You could just be that guy that wants everybody to know, I have an axolotl. Put it on your bumper. You need a little bumper sticker? You know, why not? You got the ball python hiding spot. I like these. This this was a good idea. Woody, you have some good ideas, sir. Thank you. Look at that. A little cunt, you know? Oh, man, I love Condros. So, guys, somebody just took advantage of these tank taggers, and they're really nice. These are, uh, these we, we got these in maybe at the end of last week. We no, got we got them, them in Monday, actually. Monday? Yeah. Oh, psh. Fresh. Fresh taggers. David just said he bought a black house snake. Shout out, David. Oh, You're dude. Not, th these are great pet snakes. They're awesome. You just saved 50% on that black cow snake. Michelle, we're super stoked to get you those one in five. We're glad that you were able to pick those out. Oh, I, I like that. I got something I wanted to show them, Cole. Show them. So, guys, if you saw in the last... Whoa. Came Ooh, at me. A little angry. Came at me. Got an angry So, one. guys, in the last couple of weeks, we were showing off um, some absolutely beautiful um, panther, Ambilobi panther chameleons. And that's what this is too. But if you'll notice, there's actually a quite quite a big difference in the coloration. So panther chameleons are sexually dimorphic. So the males are going to get the crazy blues and reds and orange and all that kind of stuff. Where a female, which is what this girl is, is going to get this like incredible peach color on them. Look at how she's flexing out her chin right now. She's saying, I'm big. She's I'm bad. bad. She's big and bad. She, she, look at her holding on with her little tail. Dude, remember, remember how Steve Irwin used to talk from the animal? You say she's... She's saying, I'm big, yeah, yeah. I'm bad, Absolutely. you know. He's, oh, man. I think of that guy all the time. Man. Me too. Growing up. That, that's what got me in, into all this. Yeah, I'm, me and my dad used to watch him when I was a kid. And before he was real famous and before we knew his name, we used to just call him the crazy guy. <gasps> the crazy guys, guy. Guys, guys, guys. Oh, what? what? Mondo Soul. Yes. No Shout out. Who, who Matthew, brought Mondo? Get Mondo. Matthew. Matthew. Shout out, Matthew. Yo, Woo! I got to hold this snake one last time. One last time. Matthew just saved some ridiculous amount of money on this huge hognose snake. Look at this thing. They don't call him Mondo for nothing. If Joe's eye is still around, I think he might know this snake. This is Mondo, and Mondo just found a new home. This is an awesome animal. Only at Underground, you're going to save 250 bucks on a right. stinking hognose snake this awesome. Off. Look at this. And, and guess what? It was Matthew. Matthew. Matthew, obviously you're going to get that absolutely beautiful hog nose. You're also entered to win a free high red Guyana, uh, what's it called? Almost said rainbow boa. Guyana red tail boa. Yo, Matthew, you deserve it. You deserve it, brother. You, you deserve Oh! It was another dud. Oh, sorry, man. Cola shooting duds. Oh, I got but two. guys, look at this absolutely beautiful female. All we have wow. left in stock are females. So if you're looking for, you know, that, that beautiful peach color. She's actually a little fired down now, too. She'll get a little bit more uh, brilliant than that as far as the color goes. But, yeah, beautiful, beautiful animal. They're sick. Prehensile tail like most chameleons. This thing is orange Incredible like my grip. shirt, if Look you guys can't thing. see it. It's very... Look at it's, that. It's that thing nice blends orange. right in. That's a cool animal. Wow. Beautiful. I love chameleons. Female Ambilobi panther chameleon. You gotta love some chameleons. We also have... Yo, sh let's show them these other chameleons we got over here. What about, what's, what else we got we some got? Uh, some rainbows. My lid? Straight up smokers. I love rainbow chameleon rainbows Jack. because the boys they have that crazy pattern. They get that nice yellow bolt down the side. They look really good. And the females, 
the females have that those funny looking horns on their head. And we're selling a trio right now. I think auction. I think auction is ending. It's ended at seven thirty. Yeah. Yo. Did it end? Oh. I want to know what happened with that auction. Somebody just won a trio. Look at that. That's a smoker. Look, Look at, that, at that thing. Look at the blue on the face, the yellow stripe down the side, the huge horns out the front. Guys, this animal isn't even in the sun. When they're in the sun, they're going to be I know. He's fi- blowing yeah, up. He's fired down right now. It's a very pretty animal. Oh, crap. Where's Mondo? He's Mondo! The, he, he's Mondo's a, he's, in the back. We got he, he's the lid for this. Oh, no. <laughs> he's the lid for our... Uh... I knew that was a good idea. Guys, look at that. Absolutely beautiful Jackson chameleon. You ever seen how people catch these in the wild? No. It is so cool. So, down here in Florida, you know, we catch iguanas and anoles and stuff like that. And they're fast. Obviously, these guys aren't that fast. That's me. Want to kill, kill your phone there? So, what, what people do, they go out at night with a light and shine up in the trees. And then they just have a long stick and they just put it up there right next to them. And then the chameleon grabs onto it and then they just pull them down. Wait. I, uh, it's so cool. So, they, they go out at night, like just like we do for iguanas. And they'll see him up in a tree, and if the thing's 20 feet up, they'll just extend a stick up next to him, and he'll, he'll put his little hand out, and grab onto the stick, and they'll just pull him down. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> that's so much nicer than iguana hunting. Oh, yeah, so, Yo, so much nicer. It's like, hey, buddy, you want to come home with me? Boom. You guys see this helmeted iguana, right? We got helmeted iguanas. This Boom. thing's pretty sweet. That's an, under, that's an underrated banger right there. Underrated banger. Straight from Austin. You guys tune in. You guys know Austin brings the bangers. This guy is beautiful. Man, what a cool animal. You get a you get a nice arboreal setup, this guy's gonna shine. He's gonna be up there perching. They're always perching. He wants to jump on his shoulder, he just wants to stand. They're chilling. Beautiful. These little guys are clingy. If he wants to hold on to you, he can't get off. These their little nails are so sharp. But they don't dig them into you. They're pretty nice about it. Beautiful, beautiful animal. I think this dude, we just got these in. Man, I, I really like this animal. If I had a nice arboreal setup, I remember at the old at the old place when I first got here, I thought one of the coolest animals was the frill. Oh, frill dragon? Yeah. Absolutely. And we had we had awesome like cork bark backgrounds. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the they, you, they would just go straight up. Yeah. We had them in we had them in some Mackin setups. This yeah. thing would cro- climb right up to the top. Um, I really like if you ever seen an old frilled dragon, that's a treat of an animal. But, guys, right now, have yourself a beautiful helmeted iguana. If you guys are just joining, make sure you check out all of our flash sales. They're going on right now. They're only going on right now. So, take advantage. We have pink toes for 30% off. We have line day geckos for 45 bucks. You guys can have a line day gecko for 45 bucks. That's $25 off the normal price. Goliath bird eaters at 30% off. Oh, Mondo. Mondo just went. He was one of our flash sailors. Somebody got real lucky on that one. Yeah. So take advantage. Also, 10% off site wide if you put in the code March Madness. 10% off. You know that one animal that you've just been wanting March to get for mayhem. so long? Mayhem. March Mayhem. Mayhem. Don't put in March Madness. I'll see that code and I'll be like, dang, they, they put in the wrong code. <laughs> if you put in March Mayhem, you can see, find that animal that you've been wanting for so long was just a little too much. Man, 10% off. That, that, that comes out to a lot. Oh, dude, he's got a sick animal right now. I do. Guys, if you're just joining us, my name is Peter. That is Cole. Elise is on the ones and twos. And right here, this is an absolutely incredible animal. You're like, oh, is that, you're, you're holding a stick. That's not an animal. Wrong. That's a Dalton's vine snake. Dalton. That is a. That is the last one we have. This is the only one we have. The only one we have, guys. This is a super cool arboreal vine snake from South America. These guys are lizard eaters. So if you're looking for an animal, you don't have to feed rodents to you too. Um, That that is this is something you might want to consider, guys. These are look at this thing. It's like a stick. If you see the color and the pattern on that thing, let's go macro on this bad boy, dude. What's the difference between brown and? Um, yeah, so the green basilis are obviously going to be, uh, in my opinion, prettier. They get bigger. What's wrong? What happened? Oh, I thought you were afraid of snake. Yeah, the, the green basilis are going to get, um, they, they get bigger. They get a more impressive crest and sail on their back and head. And obviously one's going to be green, bright green and one's going to be darker brown. But this Dodden's vine snake 
absolutely incredible. Obviously, camouflage to look like a stick or a twig. Um, they're an arboreal species. We can get switched back over. They're an arboreal species that eat lizards. You can you you could easily do one of these in a 18, 18, 24 exoterra with a good bit of um, you know sticks and branches and leaves and things like that. Throw in some anoles. That's all she wrote. Absolutely incredible animal. I think one of my favorite parts about this animal is its scalation. It's so it's, smooth. It's so smooth. You obviously, you honestly can't honestly tell the the difference in its stomach scalation and its yeah. side skill. You know, it's just perfectly camouflaged. I think it's must have like really small scales to be that smooth. Yeah, they, they I, got they got to be super tiny. But man, just a really cool and it's and that line. You know, I forget why, what that does to the animal that black and that line down there across the eye. Yeah, it's something about camouflage. This hmm. this this horizontal line from the tip of their face back. Beauty snakes have that too. Yeah. I think a lot of snakes have I, that. I always called it's it mascara. Thing. Yeah, they're mascara. Yeah. yeah. Dude. But guys, Super stay tuned. Cool. So we're, we're going to keep showing you animals obviously all night long, but we have a couple very special ones coming up in probably about 10, 15 minutes. So if you stay tuned, you'll see some absolutely incredible stuff. You won't see anywhere else. Undertow, what's his name? Undertow Who? wants to know his name and says I'll buy him. Who? Whose name? Dowden. Doubt it. No, I, 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 he might have asked that before. He, might asked, asked, he said, what's his name? Undertow, let me know. Someone asked, is this snake poisonous? So technically, yes, these guys are a venomous, I believe, colubrid. So they're rear fanged. I mean, their bite is, is nowhere near medically significant. That's why I'm holding him like this. Um, Look at how it's just three times around, around his arm. Yeah, so, so they, they technically are venomous. Um, they're rear fanged like, like, a, like a bush snake or um, like an Asian vine snake, but yeah. Obviously, they don't really bite too much. They're, they're pretty docile. And even if you did, nothing's going to happen. You, you might bleed a tiny bit, but that's really it. You you're, you're not going to feel it. profile on this thing's head. Yeah, look at that. This thing's head is literally this slender, straight, long. It's a very cool animal. It's a very unique animal. If you got this vine snake, you know, nobody else, nobody else is having this. It's very cool. Someone wants to see the bird. The Maruki. Yo, we still have an auction going on for a Maruki right now, don't we? Yes. Yeah. The other auction just ended. What was the other auction into that? It was the uh, Rainbow Jackson. The, the trio. trio. We had a trio of Rainbow Jacksons Let just sell oh for. God. The Rainbow of tri the trio of Rainbow Jacksons just sold for 182, and the retail price for a trio is 210. Plus shipping. Plus shipping. So it's it's 255. So 182, 255, yeah, I'll $70 save 70 off. bucks real quick. $70 I'm down off. with that. No big deal. That's awesome. Somebody's gonna, somebody's gonna have three banging animals show up to their porch that they got for 80 bucks off. And this Maruki, same Do thing. Show it again. Can you show it again? Oh, the what? The uh, Maruki? And one of your dark morph leeches. Oh yeah. So we have the Maruki. It's right over here. And the dark morph. Oh, oh, sweet. I, so we have this Maruki, Blue Tongue Skink. This is the one that is on sale right now. So if you guys are uh, elite members, on auction. it's auctioning off right now. So it'll probably go for a lot less. You can have yourself a Maruki. Blue Almost Tongue guaranteed. Skink. Wow. Compared to the Tannin Bar, I like how much pattern you're getting on this Maruki. It's very pretty. Man, I forget how to I forget how to tell, tell the Marukis and the Halmaharas apart. Yeah, so the Marukis are gonna have a more band. solid banding like that. Yeah. yeah. Also, generally they're a little tamer. Uh, the Halmaharas sometimes can have a little bit of an attitude. Can we get this on the big screen? Check out this Maruki blue tongue skin. Very pretty. I like the coloration goes from light on the saddles to that tan on the back. Of course, we got that blue tongue. He's not showing it off right now. But very nice animal. This is this is a nice animal. Very rewarding. They use their whole enclosure. They climb around. They're exploring. I like I like this animal. Do they bite? No. I I mean they can. Anything can bite. But they can. Generally no. But uh, you know anything can bite. But generally no. I've never had any issues. I used to show these off to kids at parties. We would have these reptile parties. Man, the kids would love these. I put I'd poke its head out of the bag and tell them it was a snake. 
and then these little teeny stubby arms would come out. <laughs> I would have fun with these. This is a pretty animal. Look at that nice dark coloration down the side. Yep, you got it. You asked for it. You wanted to see a tan... Or wait, this is the Maruki. We also had a tannin bar over here. And somebody else asked for the dark morph lychee. So I know we have two others that are darker than this, but these guys are sick. Do you guys know about the lychee? Another. This is the third New Caledonia gecko we showed off tonight. He's Boy, it's quick. He's going. He's a runner. Man, he's active. He's healthy. He wants a new home. Who wants to take home this awesome animal tonight? It With can be yours. March yeah. Madness for Tempers. Mayhem. March, March Mayhem. mayhem. I planted that seed. <laughs> it's not March Madness. It's March Mayhem. We'll get you 10% off site-wide. This is a pretty animal. Look at that little guy. Wow. And an impressive animal. He's little right now, but this is soon to be what? Is it the, is it the largest gecko species? The uh, lychee? lychee? I think so. Is that the largest gecko species? Yes, they are. They're yeah. the king of the gecko. He gets massive. I'm talking like, <laughs> like huge. Gets to be big. Very pretty. You guys want to see it? We got those right now. We have three left. We have one female and two that are unsexable at this point. These are still little guys, so a little difficult to sex, but we had to show you guys that. Man. Oh, and if you guys are just tuning in, again, we just said March Mayhem, 10% off site-wide, and we have a ton of flash sales going on right now. We also have a giveaway. What's our giveaway? Our giveaway is going to be anybody who places an order tonight will be automatically entered to win whoo it'll burn your hand this absolute oh it's hot it's hot looking it's hot, so it's hot. good look at him this absolutely beautiful juvenile female high pink guy in a red tail boa i'm telling you guys it's um it's not coming through maybe we can get it on, it's on the macro pink. it's not coming through absolutely how beautiful look at the pink on that oh thing. yeah there it is. that's much better there it is i went down and hand selected the prettiest one we had today if you don't know, guys, these are typically like very tan, beige. Yeah, beige. This like one, look, look, even in the How saddles, even get? yeah, even the, the brown not, over ten the, feet. <laughs> even the brown of the saddles is 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 got a red hue to it. Let's go ahead very and get switched back. No toggles. All right, guys. So just just in case you're just joining us, any purchase tonight, no matter what it is on the site, you will automatically be entered to win this beautiful guy in a red tail boa for absolutely free we retail them question. real quick we retail them for 250 dollars and shipping is 45 dollars. that's a 300 dollars value for free free buy anything free. anything free. anything on the site free 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 as free, free. free. yes alicia um what is the difference in care and personality between green basilisk and brown basilisk yeah the care is not going to be too much bigger the greens get uh, the, the care is not going to be different the greens get a little bit bigger but you know they're um that's same personality I same think. personality super yeah. fast um, obviously, they can run on water, so you, you do a good-sized water bowl for them. Um, branches and stuff for them to climb on, decent hot spot, mid, mid, mid to high 90s. Pretty easy. Eat small bugs, crickets, worms, ro uh, roaches, stuff like that. Man, impressive animal, too. They're cool. They're so cool, yeah. Super underrated. Yeah. Oh. And right now, look, I think our green bass lists are 50% off. They're 50% off. They're, that doesn't even give them just, do them justice. They're $12.50. Yeah. $12.50 for an incredible animal. Yes, Alicia. Guess who just won the chameleons? Who won the chameleons? Oh. Sean Johnson. Oh, shout out Sean Johnson. And Sean's been with us for a liver? while now. Is he yeah. alive or? Oh, yeah. No, he's alive. Yeah, he's, he's been with us for a while. he purchased a baby Chinese golden thread turtle. Oh, what? We, have we just those. happen to have yeah. one we have of those. We have a Chinese golden thread. Very right pretty. Here. Let's show that off on our macro. Yo, you got a really cool turtle. That's, Wait, that's a cool little critter. Look at his long tail. Look at that. Look at the, look at the coloration on him. I just... And he's cute. Not to mention the fact that he's adorable. Look at that. Get that face on there, dude. Perfect. Get that derpy animal. face up there. Can I show him? Can you can you give us a derp? Derp for us. Just a derp. Look at his head. He's got yellows on his head. Guys, we have these right now. This is a cool animal right here. Get you some. Get one of these turtles. This thing is cool. Chinese gold. I like him a lot. 
Yo, if you guys are just tuning in, also we have a lot of leopard geckos. We got leopard geckos. Um, we don't even have them on the site at, for their morphs, but you know, we have the Max Snows. We have, this looks an, almost like an albino, but we have so guys, many morphs right now. Join us at UGRlive.com cool. and you'll see Very our macro shot right now. Fresh. Cole's showing off on the right close up some beautiful animals. We Get over there. And uh, they're beauties. They're beautiful little geckos. Good, great starter animal. They like a little bit of a harder, drier setup, but very easy. Very like a uh, very cool way to get into the reptile hobby, and just a very enjoyable animal. They like they like to have themselves a little cave, uh, and you get them in these bright colors. Man, it's a pretty animal. They get nice and healthy. Man, that tail stores its fat, and it can get nice and big. These guys are. What would you think? What would you say? Like a. Uh, these are juvies, How big? maybe. Yeah, juvies, definitely. Yeah, but they get big. They get hunky. Very cool animal. We got these right now. Uh, and you guys can pick out any one of these if you saw one that you like. If you're looking to purchase one. Go ahead, Alicia. Um, I also have another order shout out going to Cody. He ordered his dumpy tree frog Ujimon oh, card. Sh oh, shout out Cody. Yeah. And his March Ujimon card. And his March. I don't have dumpy up here right now, That's unfortunately. But guys... These are our Ujimon cards. They are free every month for it, for elite members. Boom, look at that. Look at the back. I love the back there. But yeah, so like I said earlier, so Ujimon cards are free. You can claim one every month as long as you're an elite member. But I do have some of our back issues that you can go ahead and just purchase if you want. So, and obviously, was it Cody? Cody. Cody, you're eligible to win our beautiful guy in a red tail boa at the end of the show because you made a purchase. So, shout out for that. What else, what else can we take a look at? Oh, here's something we haven't seen. Sean Johnson, we'll get you taken care of. Make sure you reach out to us. Don't sweat it. And uh, we'll get it shipped to that shipping hub. hub. But uh, you Check gotta call one of the girls. This little guy in the office. This is an absolutely beautiful baby red foot tortoise. That look is a that, red red Look at tortoise. that little guy. It's got red all over. They, their shells usually aren't this bright, and there's usually not that much red on the head. This guy would almost be that. considered a cherry head, and he, and he is absolutely adorable. Guys, if you're looking for um, a tortoise that isn't going to get 100 pounds like, like a sulcata, this is definitely something I, I recommend to people a lot. Yeah. They get like a little bit bigger than a football. So if, if you got to, like, even if you just want to let him roam around in your, in your backyard, obviously it's going to take him a long time to get that big. This guy can live in a 20 long for a couple years and then go up to something slightly bigger. But absolutely incredible. They're going to eat, you know, mainly, mainly fresh vegetables. Uh, you can do some tortoise chow and stuff like that for them. What's their temperament? What? Oh, this is a ferocious animal. This, this is, this is. Talking. This is top three most dangerous animals on the entire planet. Venom. They're up there. <laughs> they, they claim lives they claim dozens of lives this one just happens South to be very America. tame this one we, I've, tra I've trained it <laughs> to actually be to do my bidding and by do my we've bidding, trained I mean it to sit act in the like a tortoise yeah and it's 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 uh it's fairly harmless in this state more right dangerous now. than a polar bear yes it is more dangerous than a polar bear uh polar bear's got nothing on this guy if you if you look at his face obviously you can see the ferocity in his eyes he he's look he he's trying to he might bite my finger off in one fell swoop right now so I'm I'm I like I'm the, keep an eye on him I like the idea of a forest tortoise yeah me too I just like that yeah. idea if I Him envision in my head man an awesome you know got like crawling out from under a bark ledge got some nice like a human environment these things are cool yeah and guys these just are really cool. these, these guys actually eat a good bit more protein than a lot of other tortoises they eat a lot of carrion in the wild. Um, so they're kind of like zombies. They're kind of they are like zombies. Like they're zombie slow toys. moving. They'll eat dead stuff. <laughs> so you could do like some ground turkey or something like that. Chicken hearts. They'll, they they love that kind of stuff. So we got a big pen of them out back, and they just they're roaming around. It's really weird to see a cute animal like that, just like just face tearing covered apart in, of <laughs> like chicken, a chicken. chicken heart blood. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, very, very cool animal. But yeah, seriously, they're absolutely... I mean, that's about a, as cute a oh, creature as you'll see right there. Magic Rose, you just pulled out of the bidding war on the Maruki? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, man. I can't believe that's it, funny. It, it bees like that hear. sometimes. More dangerous than a polar Death bear. Death by cuteness. That, that is correct, Joe. 
Yes, I, Alicia. I have an order shout out. Shout, shout out. out to Marissa. She just purchased a sunbeam snake and she took advantage of our African black house Ooh. snake oh, flash sick. sale. Guys, sunbeams, if you don't know, are super cool. They have this incredible iridescence on them. Um, so, like, if you ever seen, like, an oil slick in the driveway, like, they, that rainbow, um, that's what the sunbeams have. Let me switch out with you. This is a cool animal. What you got? Here, I'll take that, and you take this. What is this? Look at that belly. Oh, my God. Got some Woo! fish scales wait, you, on you it. You want me to go oh. running for my... Yes, Alicia. Wait, wait. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Annie just got the dark morph lychee that you showed. Oh, shout out, Annie got the dark morph lychee. No way. Oh, my goodness. Yo, Annie, you just got hooked up. That's a sick animal, and you guys are about to see guys, something nuts right that? now. Can I get it, though? We got we to gotta put a pause to all action right now because we're about to see one of the coolest things. Look, I, I'm a jaded animal guy. I've seen all, all some of the coolest animals in the world. When I saw this guy, I could not believe how cool he was, and Austin just brought him up right now. If you guys, if you're on our newsletter, you saw, you'll know what this guy is. But if you're not, guy, this is an absolute treat. Oh my goodness, it's coming! Over, she's oh. got an animal for you. Oh no, no, Arlen, please, Dude, no! I don't, uh, Arlen, I don't like those. Arlen, the Arlen, worst Arlen, animal Arlen, on the planet. Arlen, get out of here! Uh, get it away! Little girl. Ew! What were the fear of marine? Show shows. everybody. What Ew. is it, Arlen? Show, show the camera up there. Oh, it's a Hold marine it toad. Ew. No, this one, this one, this one, kid. Oh. Ew! Oh, gross! A, a South Florida Guys, special. I, I have a phobia of yeah. marine toads. I hate them. Here. Up here, Arlen. Up here, sweet. Look up here. Look at my head. Right. The worst. Right up here. See up there? Up <laughs> above this screen. <laughs> Arlen, 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 look at me. That's where the camera is. This is where they're at. Hold, this hold, is hold where that disgusting is. frog up. If you point them at ew, the camera. Everybody say <laughs> ew. Um, I hold a frog. <laughs> okay, right, guys, let's. Guys. Frog. We'll clear the ew. way. Long live the king. Clear the way. <laughs> guys. Um, yeah, it'll do that. Come here. All right, let me introduce everybody to Happy the Cappy. This is Happy the Cappy. And you're going to hear her make, hopefully she'll make a lot of noise. Cammy Joy gave her a bath yesterday. Cappy's come from South America. Largest rodent on the planet by far. Incredible. These guys will get about 150 pounds. Uh, it is, of course, a rodent. They got these small ears. It's kind of, oh, look at it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Tearing on my finger! <laughs> oh man! Is he suckling? Look, look at that! They are herbivores. <laughs> yes, they are herbivores. Yeah. Isn't that in insane? If you're on Instagram, you need to go to our oh website or YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Look at his little Oh, tappies feet. are so awesome. This is going to a zoo, um, an educational facility that does a ton of interactions. They have a couple locations uh, up north and. They got a, ca a baby cappy from us last year. That's now 80 pounds. It's a female, and they're getting this female as well to live together. And uh, it's got a beautiful setup over there. And we're super happy that Happy the Cappy is going to go. This cappy. <laughs> Look this, at this thing. This Guys, is, is this happy. entertainment or what? <laughs> Look at this, this thing. Where else happy. are you going to see a cappy bear? I know. She's so cool. Make Happy all the kinds Cappy of... is awesome. The noises you guys make need to start really blowing cool. up the comments and share with your friends so everybody can see Happy the Cappy and um, the Paca that we're going to show a little later too. Bye. If you've never seen a Cappy, Bye. let us know below. This will be your first live, we could call it, interaction with a Cappy. You guys, can you and hear it? It's kind of like a, um, well, I guess pig swim too. I was going to say a water pig, but yeah, it's a. Water hog, I was gonna say water pig, yeah. They got this uh, real short, coarse hair and these tiny little ears, and of course, this giant nose to them. They got these little legs. I'm, I kind of got her cuddled mm -hmm. up so she doesn't get too freaked out. Um, maybe she'll make some noise in the camera or in the microphone. Instagram's getting a real good shot. Uh oh, she's eating the microphone. She's eating the microphone. Eating the microphone. Eating the <laughs> what you're hearing right now is her eating the microphone. Oh she my gosh. Is if Drew, can, if Drew saw them, can they hear this? I don't know. Can they hear what's? Can you hear the sound of? Please comment. Alive? She just engulfed the oh microphone, God. for sure. <laughs> Harlan, you want to give her some kisses? Come on. She's friendly. She's friendly. She's so can I try nice. To this? Huh? It's gonna be loud. After, after we're done with Kevin. something else really cool about these animals: these webbed feet. Look at that. Oh, yeah, guys, they're, they're a highly aquatic species. Look at species. those claws. Look at those claws, dude. 
Can you get some ear Ian action? Chewed down. Oh. <laughs> they said they definitely heard it. They heard, you guys it? heard it. Oh, oh my god! It's such a. The first time I heard that, I was like, oh, "That? How is that coming from that animal? It sounds like a like a laser gun." No, they. Off. I think they heard. The her oh, the chewing. Oh, yeah, eating the microphone. <laughs> the engulfing of the so, microphone. Yeah, Drew's. If Drew's watching, he's pissed. Sorry, Drew. There goes a super expensive mic. So. <laughs> All right, guys. You know, here at Underground Reptiles, we bring you the craziest stuff live. Um, if you haven't checked out any of our exotic mammals or you haven't got mammals from us, we hand raise so many things. We have a baby armadillo right now that's still with the mom. Fennec fox season is almost here. We hand raise those. Um, we have a mom and baby sloth right now. I think we just posted some videos of uh, her yesterday or today. Uh, baby's still on the mom. Uh, we have a pair of prehensile tail porcupines right now. We had a baby last year. Um, we have a baby paca right now. And we do a ton of different stuff, guys. So if you're into mammals or you've got some mammals from a... Arlen? <laughs> oh, not happy the cappy. We want to keep her happy. Okay. All right. Yeah. So if you guys uh, haven't checked out our mammals, we do a ton of them. I know we're underground reptiles, but we bring you animals from all over the world. And we raise a lot ourselves, so... Thanks for being with us tonight. We have a ton of more animals coming up. Congratulations to everybody that's buying stuff. Check out our flash sales. We have bangers going on right now. Line day geckos, Goliath bird eaters, pink toe tarantulas are 10 bucks right now. Pink toes are 10 bucks. And did we bring over the snapping turtles? $10 snapping turtles. We put them in stock today. It's one of our hot drops. That's a popper. Okay, I'm gonna put Happy the Cappy away. She was sleeping. Let's see if she'll uh, hit that camera a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, you can pet her. Come over here. Do you like her? Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, everybody, say bye to Happy the Cappy. How cool was that? A Cappy Bear on our live. How about that name oh. also? A very cool name. Do we have that dark morph lychee? Can I get that too? Yes, let's take a look at that dark morph lychee. Guys, okay. stay tuned. We do have another very Hi. rare um, mammal that's that Austin's going to go and grab in a little bit. It's called a paca. Super cool animal. Might even be friendlier than, than, uh, than grab, Happy the Cappy. Hey, or Paki the Happy. I don't remember what hey, his Austin. name was. <laughs> yes, yes. How do you pay for your auction? Uh, just go into your profile and go to My Wins. That'll pop up there. You can pay for that and add on anything you want because that'll ship for free with it as well. Um, let's take a look at some more animals here. Yeah, it's already bought. What got? Has anyone bought, the, bought this this Red Eye Crocs kink yet? I don't think so. I, I will be shocked. Guys, I put this, in stock just this is a Red Eye Crocs kink that's got a regenerated tail. So it's a little, little shorter, looks a little bit different. But look how fat this animal is. He's perfectly healthy. And he's only a hundred bucks, so that means he's fifty dollars off what we oh, normally sell these guys for. Yeah. Oh. Is he? I didn't know that, but I can. Put he, he is on. Is he on the app? No. Oh, sorry about that, guys. We're gonna go ahead and get that change right now. These guys are supposed to be a hundred dollars. Victoria didn't do that way, even though I told her to earlier. Um, spider ball python. I'm, I don't think we have any at the moment, unfortunately. We do have a, a couple ball, ball python morphs. Um, our crested gecko is good for beginners. Absolutely, they're one of the best things for be beginners. They're gonna eat a lot of um. What's right, called? Guys, they can go fight over this red eye crocs kink now. Guys, the red eye crocs kink is 100 bucks. This guy right here, absolutely incredible animal. He just got a little bit of a regenerated tail. Lizards do that all the time. But yeah, uh, crested geckos are such a good pet for beginners. They don't need heat. They don't need any light at all. So you can do them in like a plastic star light if you put some holes in it. But if you want to do an exoterra tank or something like that, obviously you can do that. They're going to eat a lot of rapashi, which is this powdered food that you mix water in. They'll do some crickets. Um... Some branches, some uh, sphagnum moss, things like that. Couldn't be easier. Super Very. easy. And rewarding. Cressies, they'll, they'll breed for you. Very Super easy. They, they, they'll lay eggs just about every month. You could be oh, a breeder tonight. Austin is back. Yeah, so. With some more. I know someone grabbed the other one, but if oh, someone takes advantage of this right here, I might have it posted Ooh, to the same price. That? It's a juby. It's a guaranteed female. And here's another right here. So this is the Juvie Dark so, Morph. So if we can get oh, back, we can go back. Oh, sorry. I thought we were... Oh, look at Perfect. that. Perfect. That thing is wild looking. Oh. That was a good looking. That was a good you shot. 
So guys, this is a Juvie, and we, it's our Dark Morph Lychee. This one is a guaranteed female. So if you guys are looking to get into the most awesome gecko species in the world, or one of them, there's some really awesome gecko species. This one is exceptional. It has this like almost these little flecks of perfect white down the sides. Very pretty. You can go on the macro real quick and see his brother or sister that we can't quite sex yet. Both of these are the same litter. Look at that animal. Very pretty. And along the same lines of that, crested gecko. Somebody was asking about a crested gecko. We have those right here too, Woody, if you want to show those off. Those are on the table right there. What did Austin say about this uh, dark morph lychee that we would do it at the same price as the... Do we have an Oh, is, is that what he said? I, I don't know. Yeah. So guys, if you guys are interested in that guaranteed female dark morph lychee, that big one, it's it can go at the same price as that other ad that we had in the queue below, which is, you know, quite a bit better than what we had at price at before. We got Indonesia in the house. Shout out to Indonesia. We like your animals. You guys have cool animals. Indo's hey, got look at this. Look at this absolutely adorable juvenile. He's got, he's got that look in his eyes like he's going to take a leap. Oh! Caught him, <laughs> guys. If, if anyone's ever had crescents, you know they are um, little freaking kamikazes. They are kamikazes. They are they are out there. They are daredevils. They are taking a leap of faith at all times. Boom! Caught him. Look at that. Yeah, these guys are great beginner. Yes, Alicia. I'm so sorry. Go ahead. I have some order shout outs. Let's get some order oh. shout outs. I have Carissa. She just ordered a golden, uh, Chinese golden thread. Oh, shout out, Carissa. I she's the one that got the red eye croc skink. Oh, no way. And she got a three pack of snapping turtles. Hey, shout out to, was and it Carissa? Carissa. And oh, Carissa. Joseph. Talk just about the leap of faith. Carissa is going in Carissa on the reptile rope. Is Woo! going ham. Bam. Oh, that was good. One. And, and everybody. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Alicia. Sorry. We got Joseph. He took advantage of our pink toe sale and our black house snake sale. Shout out to Joseph. You guys are now eligible to win the Guyana red tail boa that we're giving away for absolutely free at the end of this show. Um, I think we got some more pretty cool stuff coming up. Do you have any more questions, Alicia? The, the heart, you know, what you did? Did you do these or this? Um, not that I see. What are you, what are you, why are you waving your hand like that? What are you doing? How big of a tank should a leopard gecko have? Yeah, leopard gecko, you can do, um, man, you, you can do a 10 gallon. Um, I prefer to do something just a little bit bigger, like a 20 long, you know, is ideal in my opinion. Yeah. Any euros? I don't think we have any euros in stock at the moment. Art, right. next, next week. Next, next week? Reds and yellows? No. Next week we'll have red and yellow euro mastics in stock. Can you, can you get what? The red eye crocs king. Where is the red eye crocs king? Come on around. Yo, go, 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 I got, uh, I got me a little extra. Do we show off these Cresties? A little bit. So if you guys weren't here earlier, two of these already got snagged because we tried to pick some bangers and give you guys the opportunity to pick one yourself. Um, somebody was asking about them. Very easy animal to take care of. Great starter animal. And you know, if you get, if you get these while they're young and they end up being a pair, They'll probably even breed for you. They're really easy. They cohabitate well, and uh, and they're beautiful. So these guys are labeled with a number. If you're interested in one, um, it can be yours. And right now, with the March Mayhem code, you're getting it for ten percent off. Really awesome animal. Very easy to handle. I'm not taking them out because I've just I feel like I've shown you these guys already. But I wanted to take the opportunity. Uh, somebody asked a question about one. Alicia, what do you got? The juvenile Mariki blue tongue skink just ended. Oh, the auction! Well, it ended ten minutes ago, but nice. it went for one seventy-five. Retail is normally two hundred. Nice, and oh. obviously forty-five dollars off because of the shipping is free. Yeah. All right, guys. I, I, there's another thing I wanted to show you. <laughs> um, just gotta pay for it. Shout out, broken. I don't know what that says. Broken something. This guy, we only have a few of these guys left in stock. They're one of my absolute favorite lizards oh. and one of my absolute favorite animals in, to in overall. This guy's, this is a caiman lizard. Not a caiman crocodile, 
Even though he does look like a crocodile from the neck down. This is a Cayman lizard. This is a South American lizard. They're semi-arboreal. I'm sorry, semi-aquatic. They have an inc incredible ability to swim. Look at that flat tail like a crocodilian. And these guys eat shellfish, almost exclusively snails and clams and things like that. I believe we only have two left. We have two in stock. If I can get him to open his mouth, which is da dangerous because they bite very hard. I can't, it looks like I'm not going to be able to. But they only have molars, basically, because they eat shellfish. They need to crush stuff. And because they need to crush stuff, they have incredibly strong jaw pressure. For the most part, they are they are a fairly tame animal, though. So you don't really have to worry. They, they, they can be nippy every once in a while, but this guy obviously looks super tame, even though he just got a little angry at me. I was just trying to get some of his shit off for him, but I guess he didn't appreciate that, so we'll leave that on. These guys get around four to five feet. Um, they're, they're a lot tail. They love to swim. They're really good swimmers. Uh, we feed them just snail meat that we get from like Asian markets and things like that. Uh, periwinkle snails is a species and they just come in like a slab of meat. Um, no shell on and we defrost that and that's what they eat. Absolutely incredible animal. We only have two left in stock. One of the coolest animals I've ever seen. A few years ago we got some adults in, like big four and a half footers. Absolutely incredible. I, I, haven't, I haven't seen them uh, like that before or since, but super cool. What? Dude, look at that thing. Look how incredible this female Jackson thing. is. Look at how brilliant that color is. This is... Look at this female Jackson. So guys, this is the female. We just got these in. That's a big old Jackson. That lady is beautiful. She is... Look at that. There's yellows coming through on the sides. This is a female. With the rainbows, you don't get any... You know, you, you get those horns. But here with these, with these Jacksons, I... I think they're the same species, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. I do believe Odd that. locality thing. I don't know. But this female is very pretty. They could be yours tonight. Okay. Guys. Well, he's got something else in his hand he wanted to show you, but no, that was I walked by this thing and I was like, you guys have to see this. Guys, take advantage of our flash shells if you're just tuning in. We got... We got some ridiculous sales going on. They're in the queue. Um, somebody got 250 bucks off a of hog nose tonight. What? what? Yeah, Mondo. Mondo went. We have black house snakes for over 50% off, or 50% off at 15 bucks. Pink toes going for 10 bucks. Wow. That's another one we have right behind us in one of those, in that little acrylic setup right there. That's a sick little setup. We have a pink toe in there with some spider wood. That's a perfect little setup. But we have some awesome, awesome, awesome deals going on. And they're only for the course of the show. I don't know what time we're going to wrap it up. Probably here in the next hour. But you guys really are going to want to take advantage while you got the opportunity these flash sales. Because we've done a lot of lives, but I haven't seen uh, some of the numbers that are going on right now with these flash sales. They're we really have, great deals. We have Kyle. He would like to see the leopard geckos again, please. All right. Yo, Kyle. We got them leopard geckos. And if you, uh, we just got them in. Bang, bang. And if you want to, <laughs> it's definitely something. Boom. If you Leopard want Gecko. a specific one here, yes, that, that it'll be yours. Not a problem. This one is absolutely beautiful. Look at the orange on that guy. I like the Max Snow. You like your Max Snow? I man? like this. I like this guy. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that orange. I like that man. He's Did got some spots. Them or no? They're too small. At this size, we're not gonna be able to guarantee it. Uh, but yeah, we can definitely do our best. And you guys can see, so this guy regenerated his tail at one point. You see how it's a little bit fatter and kind of smooth. It doesn't have like the like the ridges to it. Um, not uncommon for, for geckos, you know, they drop their tail and they will grow that guy back. Obviously, it's not going to affect their health in any way. It's just something that happens. The defense mechanism, they drop that tail. They think a bird's going to eat them. The bird will go eat that, that tail instead of eating them. Super cool. Right. Any questions? Back. Somebody was asking about the Pinto? Oh, yeah. Oh, Pinto? Pinto? Yo. You guys might not be able to see it. But. These sick acrylics back here are posted on our site. And one of them has a beautiful little Pinto in it. Tarantula. <laughs> oh, he's already webbed up. My spider wood. A little bit. What's that on the wall? Is that what is that? What has he done to the setup? What has he done? I don't know. I don't know what kind of things tarantulas usually 
you know, exude. <laughs> but that looks like some poo. So is that tarantula poo? What? Can anybody uh, comment on that? Look at these. I don't know what that is. This was definitely a clean uh, acrylic. I, I'm interested in it. I'm not just trying to talk about the smudge on my acrylic. I kind of want to know what it is. But this thing is awesome. You guys see, see him up there in the top? I'm going to get the macro on this guy. Yo. Look at this simple little setup. How well it's showing off this lovely pink toe tarantula. We have these acrylics right now. I think this one is a... You know, I know the code for it because I look at these things all day. But uh, you guys can find this. Uh, I don't think this one's in our queue. But this is a great little arboreal setup for a small tarantula. It'd be great for a jumping spider. We have these out here today too. Our uh, regals. I think we have some of them. Man, these are cool because they have this magnetic... They have this magnetic latching. And, uh, yo, the spider wood is a new type of wood that I've just started trying out in some setups. It's a really cool, it's a really cool little hunk of wood. If you guys never heard of it, check it out. Um, it's great for arboreal, it's great for arboreal things, especially geckos. I have, uh, I have some gecko species that love to just cling to those slender branches. But they're really strong. Somebody asked to see this pink toe, so I was just trying to... Man, check out his, you can see his fangs really well. They're showing off. Yeah, yeah. Man. Anyway, awesome animal. Awesome setup. Get yours now. We got these uh, <laughs> Reptazoo acrylics, and they are fire. They're well ventilated. They're absolutely beautiful. If you guys see behind us, would you switch to the big, the big screen? Yo, these things are fire. Actually, this one has got another one of the animals in it. I don't think we have it on a flash sale. But he's hiding right now. Look at these acrylics. Man, with that light on it, this thing is banging. You guys see... You guys see the critter in the back corner there? You guys see what that is? It's kind of hard to tell. What do you want to show this guy off? What is it? Look at him stuck up in the corner. Wait, what is it? I don't even know what's in here. It's a cave gecko. Oh, cave gecko. It's a gecko. I thought you were trying to trick me into picking up a tarantula. No, man, I ain't that mean. This is a cave salamander. Cave salamander, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, guys. It's a strange gecko this, species, this, this I'll tell you that. This is a super cool salamander. Look at that guy. And one of the faster salamander yeah, species. Yeah, these guys can move. Super cool amphibian. These guys are just going to eat small crickets. Super easy to care for. They can live in that their entire life. That acrylic right there. Some nice damp moss. Little water bowl. Look at that little guy. Look at the guy in the macro. Obviously, they're this beautiful red with those spots all over them. Super long, slender body. Ah, uh, Kinsey's at. asking for nice acrylics for a terrestrial tarantula. Yo, Kinsey! We do. Speaking of terrestrial tarantula, do you want to show her that scary beast? Well, these guys aren't exactly terrestrial. They're more of a, really more of a terrestrial species. Wait, did she say terrestrial? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought she said arboreal. This, oh, if we can go back, is, is a, ter a terrifying animal. An ornamental baboon. Absolutely beautiful. They're old world, so they're mean and they're fast. But absolutely beautiful. Look at that guy. And this is an awesome acrylic for a terrestrial yeah. tarantula. This is a 16-inch um, Reptazoo acrylic. We, we have these on the queue if you're uh, shopping on our site. Yeah, check this out. This would be perfect for this guy for his entire life. He will web this thing up. Super cool. And like Cole was saying, my favorite thing about these acrylics is this how they're magnetized. That's just a super cool. It makes everything look real sleek. There's no latches or locks or anything like that. You just got a couple of nice strong magnets there at the back. Keep that guy in there. How cool would that look? Just filled with with web. Yo, I wanted to show. Super them. cool, super clean looking. Yo, guys, look at this. Oh, look man. at this Let's acrylic when it's lit up. Put that light on there. You know, you can't, you can't really get the full. It's just sleek, you know. Look it's at like... it. Like, look at the front of it. When you're viewing that, so these black ones. What I like about them, you have it. I'm sorry. Yeah, good. What I what I like about these black ones 
is that the sidewalls are blacked out so that when you throw a light on it, all that light is focused straight down into your setup. Mm -hmm. And you get this almost t TV view okay. of the setup. You see it from the front and everything's really bright and you get a lot of dimension to it. And if there's an animal like this one on here, you can see it very well. It's a great, it's a great looking setup. I like you, I did nothing to make this. I threw this together in 10 minutes and I wish I would have had more time because of how awesome it looked by the time I was done with it. Really awesome, really awesome setup option. Yeah. For you guys. I saw David was asking, how do you sex a Euromastix? It depends on the species. Um, most of the time, it's super easy with the, like with the reds and the yellows. The, and those guys, the males are going to get super bright coloring and the females aren't. It's, uh, it's that simple. Yes, Alicia. I have, I have. I have some. I have some order shout outs. Order shout outs. I got Sarah. Sarah, she just ordered a six pack of her Yuji Mon cards. Oh, shout out Yuji Mon cards. We got Riley. He won the baby Amazon tree boa auction, and he oh, took nice. he took advantage of our African black house snake um, sale. Oh, you just got shout out Riley. half off of that. And Kevin. Ordered a Cuban night and all and took advantage of our 10% off code. Oh, nice. Which is March Mayhem. You guys can get 10% off the entire site um, for as long as we're going live. And, guys, if you're just joining us, my name is Peter. I'm joined tonight by Cole, Alicia on the ones and twos. Guys, we are giving away a free high pink Guyana yeah, red tail boa. Hold an animal. Just With on. any purchase. If you buy this absolutely awesome gargoyle gecko, you'll be entered to win a juvenile female high pink guy in a red tail boa for absolutely free that we will announce at the end of the show um also what else we have um mondo is already sold black house snakes are only 15 dollars pink toe tarantulas are only 10 dollars goliath bird eaters are only 10 dollars line day geckos are only 45 dollars and baby green basilisks are only 12.50 and if you purchase like i said if you purchase anything on the site whether it be a live animal, it be UG Mon cards, it be an elite membership, dry goods, or feeders, you'll automatically be entered to win that absolutely beautiful high pink Guyana Red Tail Boa Juvenile. So, and guys, stay tuned. We will... Where do you go for the auctions? Uh, there's a tab in the top left of the screen that says auction. You can click there. And Yeah, our live auctions are over, so you would have to go and um, go to the actual auction page. And like I said, you, you must be an elite member. Um... To take it to home. take to take play to participate in our auctions, so elite members get access to those auctions. We do nine two-hour auctions every single day that have no reserve and ship for free. All of them ship for free. You all, all elite members will also get five percent off the entire site for any order they purchase. Um, they, you'll get free monthly Yuji Mon cards. We offer other things like exclusive sales, and we got a couple other things in the works um, at the moment too. Dude, Kodiak, I can't even imagine it. Kodiak says, imagine, imagine not, not I, being it, in the league. It, guys, I, I know we're selling this, but it truly is the best value in the industry. First of all, you're not going to get free shipping from anybody in the industry for over, overnight shipping for free. It doesn't exist anywhere except for elite members. Do auctions qualify you for the BOA? That's a good question. Yes, they do. Right? You made the yes. purchase. Is that in the same boat? Yes, I think it, so. It is. If you guys weren't here just a second ago, this fact, dude, this thing is obese. Look at these look same at neck, this chubby, same neck of the, the woods. Son of a gun. We got a lychee and a gargoyle. If you guys weren't here just a second ago, I just showed this same animal, but it looks completely different. This is the dark phase lychee that we have right now, the female that we have right now. It's actually going at the same, at, at the same as our ad from earlier for a baby, which is a great deal. And uh, this thing was like almost jet black earlier and it had these dark, you know, I had these white spots down the side that you could see really well. Now you can hardly see the white spots because of how light it is. But if you guys are looking to get into uh, one of the coolest gecko species ever, now's a great time to do it. We have two of these left. One just left the house right like, uh, it was like 20 minutes ago. Somebody already bought the third of these. But this one is in my opinion, the most impressive of them all. Um, those white dots really stand out. But Woody's over there. He's got an awesome guard in his hand. We have these two lychees still available. Yo, you guys got you guys got some great Look picks at this. tonight. Kodiak said he won his blue, a $200 blue metal Pac-Man, which would have been $250 with shipping 
for just $89 on auction. Doesn't that just make you happy? How? 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 Can, can Look, you? Read yeah. DR. How? That's how? the only word I can think of. How? Read, read the DR one. DR. I won one of the auctions earlier today. For Yo, $53? For three chameleons? That's $53. You won the shipped. You won Shipping the is 45 by itself. Was that the trio? So, for George, 50 no, bucks? Okay. Wow, a trio of chameleons for 50 bucks. Shipped for 50 bucks. At there's, your door. There's, guys, there's no better value. I'm telling you, it doesn't wow. exist. $7 a month. It doesn't get better than that. Yo, all you guys are getting 10% off if you're buying right now. The March Mayhem code is giving you 10% off site-wide. So we're talking... All these animals, even in the flash sales that are already at ridiculous prices, can you get those ten additional ten percent off? I don't think you can stack the code. Stack code. But is the flash the sale doesn't oh, have yeah. a code. The flash sale you so, can oh my God. You can get are you additional ten percent <laughs> off with the flash <laughs> don't sales? Tell them that. Don't tell them that. No, I'm it's sorry. Already, already and the but code. I can't help it. We it's have like sick deals going on right now. And you guys can sorry. Alicia? Can, what? Can we talk to Jonathan right now? What's up with Jonathan? Jonathan needs um, to talk to us. He wants that female striped gargoyle. Oh, this guy, this absolutely beautiful. I don't know what's chunk, going on, but he, he he needs to get that. Look at that hunky, he needs chunky to get that. mama. We have an ad for this guy. Yeah, I just made an ad. So at least you just made an ad. What's it called? Adult female striped gargoyle adult gecko. Adult female striped Yo. gargoyle gecko. Get the guy. Make sure you use the 10% off code. If you want a freaking banging boy to go oh, with that, that beautiful Sheila. That's look at this Sheila. thing. Look at this. Sheila. I can't see myself. I'm trying to show. This one oh is awesome. The pocket. Oh, hello. The <laughs> We've got a little <laughs> visitor. We've got an escaper. It's all right. It's all right. I'll take care of that. I think I'll take in care box. of that while you guys. Running away from me. <laughs> We're chasing a guys, if you've ever been in the reptile industry, don't get too excited when Peter something escapes. You just gotta know. creep up go? on. He's creep up on it. Oh goodness. But whoever was interested in those gargs, this male would go great with that female. Well, and uh, I don't even. Cole, entertain the people. Yo, I got it. Oh, I see him. We may or may not have an outbreak happening he's right now, plants. but he's, ready. he's yeah. very nice, so he's just trying to kind of check this place out. Oh, no. He doesn't want me to pick him up. If this was our next feature for you guys. Just happens to be uh, taking a detour. So if you guys, do auctions qualify you for the BOA? If you're wondering what Broke Bish is asking about, then uh, we have a free BOA giveaway happening tonight so if you guys are trying to take advantage of that any purchase that you're making is entering you into win a free a beautiful boa not just a boa it's a it's a red tail boa but it's pink all down the sides oh a diy tank for a leopard gecko yeah dude a plastic bin is a great option um i would you know, you could do something with a heat pad. That would work really well. We sell a great one uh, by Galapagos. It's our geotherm tank heater. Um, and, yo, know, wood. I can, I can handle that if you want. Um, it's our geotherm tank heater, and it's a great option uh, for a simple setup that you want to add heat to. You can slap that bad boy on the bottom, and it has, a, it has like a, a gauge on it where you can crank it up uh, or crank it down may want to buy the temp gun with it, but that's a really great cheap option to start regulating those temps in that easy setup there. So whoever it was earlier, last chance. Look, this male would be great with that female. I wish I, I, wish I had to sell them as a pair uh, because these adults, these are some of the last ones that we have, and uh, I think they just make a magical pair. But he can't. Bet. Yo, Elena Harris says, bet Pete can't catch the PACA. You know why she's saying that? Because she don't want her husband leaving the house. She's, she has five kids running around. She says, boy, you better catch that PACA right now. That's, that's what she's really saying. What? All right, I'm going to take care of that. Elena, I got you. All right, I got you. There's a question for Cole. All uh, right, what? There's a question for Cole. Do crested geckos need light? Need a heat light. Rested geckos. Negative, Ghost Rider. 
If you want to throw like an LED on them just to make them pop, you can, but cresses are super easy. Just like these gargs that we're selling. This garg, another one, very easy animal to take care of. Hey, Woody. Yeah. Come man the ship, address homie. This, address this, homie. So, crested gecko, gargoyle gecko, it's going to be a winner for you. All right, guys, check this out. This is an absolutely beautiful male uh, Jackson chameleon. Obviously, you can tell he's a male by the horns um, on his head. Super cool animal, obviously, like um, most chameleons. He's going to under the can, the black can to the left there. Oh, dude, this is me? <laughs> he wouldn't let me pick him up. Oh. He just skitter away. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want what him to freak say? out. What is this saying, an alpaca? It's a paca. Paca. What, are you, you going to use his name? That's going to help? But yeah, guys, super cool animal. Obviously, prehensile tail. That means he can use his tail like another hand. Um, they shoot their tongues to, to catch their prey. They can obviously move their eyes independently. These guys While are While you're showing incredible. that one off, I do have an order shout out. Let's hear it. From Chris. He purchased a pair of Rainbow Jackson oh, Chameleon. Oh, shout out, Chris. That's awesome. These guys are super cool. And what's um, really cool about these guys is they actually give live birth. Um, a lot of chameleons lay eggs, and they have super long um, incubation time and gestation period. So these guys give live birth. You don't have to deal with eggs or incubating or anything like that. I think um, if you guys were on our live a few weeks ago, we were showing off our Parsons chameleon. Ryan told me told us those guys have a 22-month incubation period. Two years to incubate their eggs. That's incredible. But these guys just give live birth, so you don't have to deal with that. Super cool. Do we have any more questions? I don't, we, we, not up here, I think we have, um, what's it called? We have Doomer monitors in stock. We should most likely be getting Savannahs back in soon. It's that season, so baby Savannahs. I believe we have a baby blue tail monitor. Oh, baby blue tail. Oh, super um, cool. no, the pocket is not for sale, unfortunately. Pocket, well, pocket is not. it? Or no? Oh, he might be. I don't know. We, we'd have to ask Austin. I don't know if we got, I don't know. We'll ask. We'll find out for you. Yeah, we will find that out. Can we see dwarf fishers? Uh, we have plenty. We didn't bring any up here tonight. Um, maybe we can get our hands on them. They're, they're super cool. Okay, guys, this this is one of the animals we have on flash sale right now. This is a black house snake. Super cool. You, you wrangle that, that that puppy? All right, buddy. Is he chilling? Oh, he's chilling. <laughs> chilling like a crazy. He's alien. not. He's not chilling. <laughs> he, you can't put it back in the box. He ate no, all I got it. <laughs> So guys, these guys, this is a black cow snake. These guys we have on flash sale right now. They're only fifteen dollars. These guys are great, uh, make a great pet. They don't get big. They only get about three feet. This guy's near near full size. They're gonna eat hoppers. Super easy to care for. Super docile, obviously. These guys are great. What is another gecko that gets larger than most? The biggest. Well, the, we just we're just showing the biggest gecko in the world. <laughs> are you sure? The, oh, yeah. The, the, the yeah. biggest gecko in the world, which is the Lysianus gecko from uh, New Caledonia. So, Cole's going to bring in our little skate artist. Yep. <laughs> the, old, it is the old Pacaroonie. The old Paca. If you guys can see, I'm trying to keep his, keep his legs <laughs> held a little bit. But if you can see the side of this animal. Oh, oh, oh. Let's... Is it he's almost being, like it almost looks like, like a white-tailed deer. Yeah, yeah, like a baby. A like fawn. a little, like a little deer, and it's very pretty. It's got coarse hair, just like that other animal that we showed you guys. And uh, man, I don't know if I've ever seen one of these. Yeah, there's, that's a rodent. Too. This is another one of those oh, giant. Guys. Those hey, you guys know about the the RUSs? Anybody get this? Uh, if anybody gets this reference right now, the Rus? the RUSs, the uh, rodents of unusual size. What's that from? What? Come on! This is a Princess uh, Bride reference. Oh! Come on, you guys! What? The rodents how, of unusual how size. How could I have forgotten ever... that? Yeah, that's a good one. But he's very pretty. He's got the. He's, it looks like a white-tailed deer, to me, except in rodent form. Or like a tape. They have those beautiful white spots down the side. Can we see the fish scale gecko? Yes, you sure can. Yes, we can. This guy's going back. Say your good nights. Um, all right. Hold on, guys. We're coming back. Fish scale gecko. Who wants to know? 
Does somebody want a fishtail get a fish scale gecko? Fishtail gecko. Fishtail gecko. Fish I don't have it. Gecko. Can you find me one? Oh. While we're waiting on the fishtail gecko, fish scaled gecko. I wanted to show you guys one of the animals that was just auctioned. Nope, this, yeah, this one, this animal itself was an auction, but we have Rainbow Jacksons. Look at this dude's horns. This is an awesome, awesome animal. I have a quick question. Yes. How big of a tank does a black house snake need? You, yeah, you can easily do that in a 20 long. If you want to get fancy, you can do a 30 breeder. Um, but yeah, 20 long, more than enough. They're, they're a slender body snake. They only get about three feet. So yeah, 20 I long. I have another enough. question. Yes. I know we have are, a gecko. Are snakes... Yeah, he's, right, he's right here. Oh, nice. Are snakes insectivores? There are snakes that are insectivores, like rough green snakes eat crickets. Um, I'm sure there's a few other ones, but that, that's the first one that comes to mind. Not, not a ton of snakes. All snakes are carnivores. There's not a ton that eat insects. Like, the only thing that's coming to mind is the, um... He's making crazy sounds. No it, it, Is the, um... Is, yeah, the, the, the rough green snake. We have the, those guys here local in Florida. Super cool animal. Yeah, they eat crickets. What size tank for the leopard geckos? Leopard gecko, I mean, uh, uh, you could really do a 10-gallon if you're just doing a heater. Like, a, a tank, a side tank Yo, heater. Yo, dog Jonathan's really trying. What? His to, order is not going through. Why not? I don't know, and no. I, I feel, I'm feeling for him right now. Jonathan, if you can't get your order to go through tonight, man, give us a call tomorrow, man. <laughs> we'll try to, we'll try to, time. try to get something done for you. Um, but yeah, fish scale gecko. Oh yes, he turned around. Look at that guy. How freaking oh, cool is that guy? Oh. Yo, there's legit fish scales on there. You he got fish scale. Yeah, it is hard. Very Let's hard macro him up. Hit the macro on that. Alicia. He would be so kind. He legit has fish scales. Aren't they very sensitive to handle? Yes, yes. That's why I'm not taking him out. Can we, are they sexable at this? Yeah, yeah, they should be. That looks like a female to me. I'd have to see underneath the tail, but yep, super cool little guy. Underrated. What about a garter? Garter. Those, those are only eat um, fish, right? Well, yeah, garters. No, you can, you can get garter snake. You can go back. Yeah, you, you can get garter snakes. Um, a lot of the time they're going to eat fish. You can do frogs. Sometimes you'll get them on rodents. It's best to really have a, a variety of those things that they eat because they eat all kinds of stuff in the wild. So, Garter snakes are super, that, super underrated. I love garter snakes. There's so many different uh, cool species. Like um, Obviously, if, if anybody knows anything about garters, they know about the San Francisco garter. They get all the incredible reds and blues. There's also ones up in Seattle uh, called the Puget Sound garter, which are electric blue and black. Uh, the Santa Cruz garter, they're black and yellow. Our, we have uh, really beautiful blue Florida garters here in Florida. Um, man, there's, they, they're all over. They're, they're so diverse. They're up in Canada, uh, throughout the Midwest. They're, they're, garter snakes are super underrated snakes. Super cool. I used to feed mine. I'd get live guppies and minnows and stuff and throw them in their water bowl, and they'd go around eating them. That was, that was always really cool. Yes, garters will eat earthworms, too. That's that's true, for sure. Um, and get... Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, magic. They will eat just about anything. Can I have a 40 watt ceramic heat emitter? Um, it depends on the size of the tank. You'd want something probably a little bit bigger. But if you already have that, I, I would set it up and just see see what kind of heat it's putting out. Those guys are gonna want like a, a high 90s, low 100 uh, degree hot spot. So you look if you're looking to get around there, then uh, if you get it around there, yeah, that, that should not be an issue. I don't think we have burgers in stock. Well, no, we we do. We have one. One? Yeah, we have one absolutely beautiful eastern um, garter snake in stock. They get incredible blues on them. They're, they're awesome. What's a chameleon on the smaller side? Yeah, so def um, you can definitely do something like a dwarf fishers, um, Elliot's chameleon, helmeted chameleon. Those guys stay smaller. Senegal chameleons. I don't know if we have any of those still. Yeah, Senegal. I think that's going to be the smallest species that we have. But the dwarf fishers, they, they only get like this big, super small. They're, they're awesome. Do leopard geckos need LED or, or a heating lamp? Uh, they don't need LED. Um, they they need some kind of heat source. So a lot of people do the under tank heater for them because they absorb a lot of belly heat in the wild. You know, rocks absorb heat and then they go and sit on them. So yeah, you, you can do overhead heating, but al also um, the under tank heater it, it works just as well. Also, yo, did somebody uh, snag me? those guards? I don't think oh, we've been asking about it. Adult female striped. Um. 
Jonathan has been trying, so I'm actually glad you can Yeah, Jonathan, we'll, we'll probably you give us your info. We'll give us a call, give, give us a call tomorrow. tomorrow. Till tomorrow. And we'll take care of you, man. Somebody said, I have a chiller. I have a chillier house. Should I use a heat lamp for millipedes? For reference, I keep it at 68 all year, and my other millipedes have done well, but af but the Africans, they don't know about. Okay, th this is what I always suggest with, with something like that, something that doesn't generally need heat, but people have a colder house. I recommend a heat pad or a heat mat, because that's not going to be as intense as something like a heat light, and you know that'll, that'll generally keep your, your temperatures in your enclosure where they need to be. So yeah, that's what I usually recommend in, in situations like that. I have also I also have Tammy in the chat, and she won the Maruki Blue Tongue Skink Auction. Oh, shout out Tammy! Can you? Did she want to see him? Yeah, she wants to see him again. Not a problem. Yo, somebody already picked up one of these dark phase leeches. He might not look like it right now, but this guy is sick. He's got some really dark colors on him. And we got two left. Two left. Man, I wonder who's going to get that giveaway. If you guys are just now joining us, we have a red tail boa that's being given away with... You'll be entered to win when you uh, when you make another purchase. Yeah, any purchase, guys, on the site, you'll be entered to win our absolutely beautiful high pink Guyana red tail boa. But here, here you go, Tammy. This she, is the Maruki blue tongue. She also has um, a question for yes. the skinks enclosure. Um, uh, she has many different cage items from past pets. She wants to know what the ideal heating setup would be for this guy. Yes. Yeah, I, um, if you're doing like, I would do like a 20 long, 20 long, 30 breeder start at uh, this guy, and I would do like a 100 watt heat light, um, obviously on one side of the tank, do UV as, UVB as well. Um, nice deep substrate so that you can bury down in. Look at that guy. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful patterning on the back. That blue tongue, if he feels like flicking it out. Look, he's in a perfect circle. Look at him. These are great animals. This thing is cool. How cool is that? Look at that guy. <laughs> he's gorgeous I agree Tammy that's a sick animal that is a sick animal and that, that's yours now Tammy Outback Bulls wants to know when we're going to announce that winner I mean I don't know we're not looks like you guys are still trying to take advantage of these deals but we'll probably do that near the end of the live I don't know but uh, you still have a chance right now to get entered in Tammy, we did not name him, so you'll get to give him his first name. That's first right. and last name. Um, I'm having someone ask leopard gecko questions. Okay. I don't know if you already answered this. But can leopard geckos have a heat bulb? Yeah. Do they need a basking yeah. spot? Yeah, they definitely need a basking spot. But like I, I was saying a little bit earlier, um, it's a little bit better to have an under tank heater. Those guys absorb a lot of belly heat in the wild. They wait for rocks to get hot, and they'll go and sit on those rocks. So... Um, it's also a little e a little easier just to have the, the the heat mat as opposed to a light in my opinion. Yeah, I think heat mats are great options. We have a we have a really good one that I actually have with our leopard gecko setup. It's a geotherm under tank heater and um, it's adjustable. So if you have a temp gun or um, a small probe thermostat, then uh, you can adjust that and get it right where you want that hot spot to be and it's a great it's a great option for a leopard gecko i have another cool animal here if we can go macro i can show it off a little better it is yo this this animal i walked in the room my my friend that takes care of all these animals mr mike he was like yo this thing is sick and nobody seems to know about it this Mike's is an african wall gecko it's a really cool animal it's got great coloration, very pretty. This one happens to have a region tail, but we have others that don't. I just like this big, this bigger animal. And uh, dude, really cool gecko. I don't, I don't remember ever hearing about it. That's why I was like, I gotta at least show it off. Maybe somebody else has heard about it. If you're in the chat and you know about this guy, let me know. If you're joining us just now, you wanna shout out where are you joining us from? Tell us, tell us your animal stories, you know, tune in, like take part in the chat. We really like uh, communicating with you guys. We like, we like the stories. We love, we love you guys that have come to support us 
and and uh, enjoy this time with us. This is another animal. This is called our dark phase Lichianus. And uh, this one's actually a guaranteed female. This thing earlier, I just showed this thing 10 minutes ago, and it was, it was super dark. And these white flecks were super vivid. But right now, it's all light. Very cool. One of these already got bought during the course of this live earlier, if you weren't here. One of these got snagged, but we have two left. One, a guaranteed female, which is going for the same price, which uh, usually doesn't. And then another, a little bit smaller one, with some cool patterning on it as well. So, take advantage while we got them. They ain't gonna last long. I have some, um, I have an order shout out. <coughs> Russell, order shout out. he ordered an acrylic habitat, a black one. Yo. The 12 by go. 8 by 6. Oh, that, that was a dude, lame. how, <laughs> is that three duds on you? On the yeah, head? it was kind of, it was a half dud. Yo, Woo! you got the 16 inch acrylic? Did the you get 12 the, inch. You got the 12 inch? And he I got think some that's this, Congo I think that's Ivy. This one. In the Congo Ivy? Yeah. Those are some sick dry goods. You're not going to regret and that. February Yuji Mon card. Oh, sweet. Oh, man. It's February Yuji Mon card. That was Forest Dragon with the laser beams. Nice. Oh, laser beam? That's Wait, a good where one. Where did that one go? That's Yo, my congrats. One so far. That acrylic is going to shine. No doubt. Hey, and they're stackable. So the next time you're like, you know, you're feeling it, you want to, you know, expand the, expand the horizon a little further, these things are great. They're stackable. And if you get this uh, LED panel, there, this thing, it goes, it's like a, I guess, it fits perfectly in between them. So now you can have multiples stacked up, and if you buy that LED panel with it, each of them can have their own individual lighting, and they still stack seamlessly. It's a very cool option for that guy. Matt wants to know if we can sex the pink toes. They're, they're a little too small for that. We have an excellent invert guy, but yeah, they're going to be a little too small to guarantee. For sure. Uh, looks like it, Candace just became an elite member. Shout out to Candace. I guarantee you're um, you're not going to be disappointed, guys. We the the more elite members we get, the better it gets. So when when we started elite two years ago, we did two auctions a week. We did uh, I think an auction on Monday and an auction on Thursday, and they lasted all day. And now we do nine two hour auctions seven days a week. And most auctions go for more than 50% off and get free shipping. You also get $5 off the entire site. You'll get free monthly Ujimon cards. Boom. You'll get all kinds of other... We, sometimes we offer um, animals to elite members before we offer them to the rest of the public. Um, we're working on some other stuff. So, guys, the more elite members we get, the Ooh. better elite we'll get. Jessica. Yes. Jessica just Here. purchased a yearly subscription to Elite through Instagram. Oh, what? Shout out, Jessica. So, guys, Elite is $7 for the month, or you can go $70 for the year. Get two months for free. Guys, check this out. What do we have Absolutely here? Absolutely incredible emerald tree boa. One of the most beautiful snakes in the world. One of the most beautiful animals, in my opinion. Truly incredible animal. Some of the absolute gnarliest teeth of any snake. Maybe the worst, really. Um, that's why I'm holding them with the hook. These guys, get, they only get around five feet, but I'm telling you, if you've ever held one of these things by the head and seen their teeth, man, you can get an adult with teeth that big, something that are very, uh, very much not want to get bit by. Truly incredible. These guys make an incredible display animal. If you do like a tall exoterra, you can do some live plants, some yeah, branches in buddy. there. He'll just perch up there. Oh, man. What is it with these, like, why do these and the chondros... Both has those multiple colored babies, the red and the green. What's up with that? That's a. I I don't know what that is. These I guys, I, so I'm, weird. I'm almost positive, only have red, only come out as red babies, These and then ones? they turn green. Yeah, emeralds will only be born red, and then after about a year or so, they'll turn this beautiful green that you see now. There's a couple different kinds of emeralds. If you guys have ever seen a basin emerald tree boa, they're abs I think they're technically a different species, but you guys see this, these white saddles here, their entire back. Um, will be brilliant, brilliant white. Those guys are a very expensive animal, a few thousand dollars generally for those. But these guys, we retail for $350. Really cool animal, not for beginners, a little more of an advanced species. Not hard to, not hard to care for necessarily, but you know, it's something you, you, gotta, you definitely got to work with with caution. You do not want to get bit by these guys. They won't make you need stitches. Ooh, Broken yeah. says Elite is the best. Yes, it is. That's why we called it Elite. 
But look at that. Absolutely incredible animal. Guys, we're going to be wrapping up probably in the next 10, 15 minutes or so. So make sure you make your purchase so you can be entered to win our Guyana Red Tail Boa that we're giving away to anyone who purchases anything on the site. Whether it be an elite membership, a tank tagger, live animal, dry good, feeders, anything. You will be entered to win, um, not this guy, but a guy in a red tail boa. Yo, smoking emerald tree boa. That thing is awesome. If you guys wanted to see some of our smaller animals, I know you guys were looking at those snakes, but we got some sweet bearded dragons in recently. If you could switch me to my macro, I'd love to show you off some of these. This one is a hypo inferno. Yo, this guy is going to be sick. He's going to just get better and better with age those reds are gonna come right out we have a ton of these babies right now you guys you can we don't have too many of these hypo infernos but there's some really good looking baby bearded dragons a great beginner animal if you get it the right heat you're gonna have an awesome animal that's very interactive something that you can really enjoy watching it grow man these things will get massive we're talking about an animal that just really makes some gains these things are huge their heads will be like this as an adult we're talking some big animals we have those in stock right now also if you guys weren't here earlier we have leopard geckos somebody was asking about these just now these are we have we have several different morphs right now this this is probably a, a, a max snow some really pretty leopard geckos right now check into the queue these guys, for 10% off, you can enter your March Mayhem code and get any of these for 10% off right now. A great animal to get into, to start yourself off in the hobby. And also an animal that very advanced keepers work with and breed. They get these awesome colors out of them. This guy is like a really, really bright orange. Reminds me of like my Sun Glow Red Tail Boa. These guys, another one that looks like it's a Max Snow. Yo, old Smiley could be yours tonight. <laughs> you want this animal right here? You know guys, that emoji where the mouth is like, yeah, that's what he looks exactly, like. Yeah. This, is a, <laughs> this is a cool animal, a juvie, very stable. It'll be a great animal for somebody. And then another one. This one's more of the classic kind of pattern, except it's got uh, just a little more yellow on them and less patterning on the body. Very cool. Guys, these right now, with your March Mayhem code, going 10% off. I have my leeches right here next to it. Guys, these are sick. These are sick animals. You guys have to take advantage of these leeches tonight because I tell you, by the end of next week, these are going to be gone. These are dark phase leechianus. This is the female. One of them already went tonight. But we have two left. Two left. An awesome new Caledonia gecko. Get on UGRLive.com. Those are missing so the leeches. So over to the big screen. We got a couple more animals. I saw someone ask, do we ship to Alaska? We do. We just don't have our insurance on the package. We are. We could not be further away from Alaska as far as being in America. We are in the bottom right. You guys are in the absolute top left. But yes, we do ship to Alaska. Uh, but guys, check this out. I was showing him a little bit earlier, but this is an incredible snake. This is called a Dawdon's Vine Snake. This is a South American vine snake, a te technically a, a rear fanged uh, venomous snake, but it's very mild. It's it's not medi medically significant at all. I think it's less than a bee sting. So, super cool, this, absolutely incredible animal. The, it's like if, silk. You, if you guys could feel how smooth this is, it, it it is so smooth. You can't. There's no roughness. These are they're an arboreal species and a lizard eater. So if anybody wants to have a snake, but they're like, oh, I don't want to feed rodents. You might want to consider a guy like this. These are arboreal species. You can do a tall exoterra, 18, 18, 24, something like that. Fill it with a bunch of branches and leaves and things like that. And he will just work his way up in there and eat lizards and all kinds of stuff like that. The tropical species, obviously, so they're going to like it a little hotter, a little muggier. But, man, look at that. Look at that guy. Look at his tongue. So freaking cool. Yo, we might just have some new people tuning in. It's so cool to see how these, like, these, I guess, the, whatever, uh, the people that are joining us, it turns over so quickly. So if you guys haven't heard, we have a lot of flash sales going on right now. We're talking between 30 and 50% off of a lot of our heavy-hitting animals. We have Lime Day Geckos for $25 off, only $45. bucks. you will have yourself a Lime Day Gecko. We have one of those over here on the table. We haven't shown that yet. Um, 
a Goliath bird eater for 50 bucks. We're talking a huge tarantula for 50 bucks. You can get one of these banging acrylics and throw in a Goliath. You will have one of the sickest animal setups. Bam, right away. We're talking a $50 bird eater. It's only happening during the course of this live. If you guys aren't taking advantage of these sales, then uh, like we have not had this type of flash sales for any of our lives yet. So I may be hitting you guys for the fifth time with this, but I'm telling you, I'm doing this because, dude, we just had a Mondo hognose snake, which was almost a 500 gram hognose, sell for over $250 off. This is the time. It's happening. I don't know when we're gonna end the live, but here in the next 10, 15 minutes, you guys are gonna say, dang, I could have got I could have got a black house snake for 15 bucks. It's 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 happening. It's happening right now. We have baby green basilisk also for $12.50. We're talking about an animal that just gets huge, very rewarding, cool kind of I mean, are green basilisks, would you consider them arboreal? I mean, yeah, they, cr they can climb up a tree in no time. Yeah, yeah, no problem. A really cool animal that can even enjoy like an arboreal-ish type of setup. Loves water. Very cool animal. All of these are happening right now, these flash sales. Check the queue. If you're joining us on your we our website, you should be. UGRlive.com is the place to enjoy these lives. We have 10% off going on site-wide, aside from the flash sales. If you enter the code March Mayhem, you'll take advantage of these deals, and they're only happening here for the next couple minutes. So if you guys are just tuning in, like, check in to the queue. Know what's going on right now, and we're even doing a giveaway. There's an amazing red tail boa getting given away for anybody that's placed an order tonight, and you're entered to win this fresh-looking boa. I think he's about to pull it out right now. Are we about ready to do the... Winner? I think we are. All right, guys. So, like oh. like we've been saying all night, any purchase made during this live is eligible and automatically entered to win this absolutely beautiful high pink. He's not. He's, this camera doesn't do him justice. Let me get a quick switch here, Alicia. If you purchase anything tonight during this live, you were automatically entered to win this absolutely beautiful high pink. Guyana red tail boa. It's a juvenile and it is a female. His spots look like apples. <laughs> Alicia thinks oh, his spots God. look like apples. <laughs> but yeah, so this guy, this is a $250 animal. Um, obviously with shipping, it's going to be close to $300 and we're going to be giving him away for absolutely free. Right now, if you made a purchase tonight, you're eligible to win. Alicia, do we have a name? We have a winner! We have no. a winner! Oh man! Yo, get, wait, 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 wait! Oh man! Get out the confettis! Get, get them ready! Cause it's about to happen. No. Oh man! I'm gonna pop one. Do you know this? Do you know this person? I, I remember seeing the name earlier. This is a really cool boa. All right, guys. So the winner of this absolutely beautiful guy in a red tail boa is Carissa Krebs. Congratulations, <laughs> Carissa! <laughs> There we go. Oh. You are the winner of this absolutely beautiful uh, Guyana red tail boa. What did she buy earlier? I don't remember. She, we don't remember, but she bought I something. Think she bought some dragons. Too. And we're gonna get this guy shipped out to you, most likely Monday next week. Um, congratulations to you, Carissa. Absolutely beautiful animal coming your way. She purchased. She, oh, she got. She was the one with the red eye croc skin. Oh, nice! Yes, the red oh, eye croc man. skin and the baby Chinese golden thread. Sweet. When did she uh, set the ship? Is it Monday? Um. Man, you are yeah, set up. Yeah, it looks like yeah. All right, so it looks like you Carissa. You are set up. You're getting a red eye croc skin, a golden thread, Chinese golden thread turtle, and this absolutely beautiful guy in a red tail boa. Congratulations! That is super Should cool. We let them know our next live. Yes, guys. So. We're, gonna, we're having a slight deviation this week from what we've generally been doing. Um, so, obviously, we went live tonight on Thursday. We are going to be going live again on Saturday, Saturday night. Saturday night live. Saturday what? night live <laughs> from the Underground Studio. We will be going live again. And, guys, again, Saturdays. we're going to be doing more flash sales, more giveaways, more fun, more cool animals for you guys to see. Um, but, yeah, we look forward to seeing you guys then. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this live. For Cole, for Alicia, my name is Peter. 
And thank you guys for join, joining us, and we'll see you next time.